all right hello everyone and peace of christ to all of you please invite your friends and this is a christian prince with you again uh today our topic about the corruption of the bible of allah <clears throat> you know the muslims and actually this is my this my program today is meant to speak to the christians before the muslims because christians need to learn how to speak to the Abdul or the Muhammadan <clears throat> a Muslim right away he come to you and he hit you saying oh you know what your Bible is corrupt and right away the Christian person he you know ignite to defend and say no it's not a true this is false um, you know we have a lot of manuscript um, you know and the Muslims not even the same like yeah 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 uh-huh uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. yeah 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 so you spend your day trying to explain to him but he is not even listening so please christians stop doing that and let us learn how to get the abdul busted are we ready are we I don't want you to debate the Muslims. I want you to get them busted. When a Muslim he says to you that the Bible is corrupt, first of all, he is not talking about your Bible, the one we see in the screen. He's talking about the Bible of Allah. The Muslim believe that Allah he sent a book. One of them is called the Gospel, which sent to Isa. In Arabic, the Quran called it Injil, which is a Greek word. And that is a problem for Islam. And the Torah. So when a Muslim he accused the Torah to be corrupt, he's talking about the Torah of Allah. When he's talking about the Gospel to be corrupt, he is talking about the Gospel of Isa which is the gospel of Allah so you as a Christian what's your problem why you need to defend such an accusation I want you from you now on <clears throat> to be careful I'm not saying that we are not being smart but you see most of us we are just copy paste I mean nobody want to use a little bit like think about it first first think of the question first you see the Muslim is not an atheist he is not a Hindu he is not a Buddha he is a person who have a book and his book says that his God he sent the Torah and the gospel so why you don't answer him from his book chapter 3 verse number 3 it says it clearly from the first from the beginning of the Quran that it is Allah who sent the Torah and he is the one who sent the gospel as long as the Muslims agree and admit that this is a book sent by their God, which we don't believe in him anyway, but this is what they believe, so debate them with, with their belief. As long as it is Allah who sent the gospel, as you see, to Jesus. And Allah, he sent the Torah to Moses. That's mean this is the book of Allah. Now the question here should return to the Muslims. Why your God Allah cannot protect his book if this is his book? Why your God Allah cannot protect the Torah if this is his book? Why Allah was in vacation? I'm going to open my Skype because today is going to be very interesting and we will laugh a lot. This is just for a snack as a beginning. Please invite your friends. If you are a Muslim, invite your seven girlfriends, Muta, your four wives, and 100 slaves. I want to see any Muslim who have the courage and the knowledge to call us and to explain to us who is 
the one who is making the madness here you Muslims by accusing your God that his book is corrupt you are accusing your God not to be God because you see the book is not my book the book is the book of the one who sent and who, the one who wrote and the one who said if the gospel we see in the front of us in the screen is a book made by Allah and if the one who is speaking there is Allah then Allah book is corrupt so why you are saying that to me why you don't say that you're God I want you right now to phone your God and say to him hey Allah <laughs> look like you're an idiot you make books but you cannot protect them and by the way Allah he have a history of being idiot Allah he sent 124,000 messenger according to Muslims and the Muslims they claim that Allah protected only one book so imagine we give Allah a job to work in the library and we leave him with 124,000 books and then we come back after a thousand years and we find only one book in the shelf it's called the Quran How you can do that? How we can trust such a God? His name is Allah. If he cannot even protect his own book, I have a book, but nobody can corrupt my book. Go ahead, be my be my guest. I am more powerful than Allah. One hundred twenty-four thousand messenger. Is that a joke? Can you name them for me? No, Allah knows best. Your God, if he could not name prophets who they are very well known in the Quran, he could not name them correctly. Now, my Skype is open. I want a Muslim to call me and to tell me, please, how your God is being such a funny God. Uh, you know what? I did not send a message to people in Instagram to join us. Hold on. <coughs> I I uh, I always write a message for them so they can join us. Hmm. My mistake. My mistake. All right. Okay, people of Instagram, we are live on air and we have hundreds of people waiting for you. So just, just join us, click at the link beside the video so you can join us. We are live already. And uh, the topic today, who corrupted the Bible of Allah? So join us and be with us soon. Thank you. All right, here we go. We left a message for them. That is better. Uh, please if you are a Muslim feel free to call me you know we take calls only from Muslims for now only just take a note only all right because uh, usually you know what happened <clears throat> Christians don't listen we ask them to not to call they call you know All right, let us post the link for the brothers, sisters there. Here we go. Join us live. So who is the Abdul who is going to call me? We want to discuss this funny topic, which Muslims, they love to talk about it. The gospel is corrupt. The Torah is corrupt. Who is the brave Muslim? He have the courage and the knowledge. To call us. 
because really, really, I find that this is very funny and very interesting. And this is additional proof that your God, Allah, is a, sh is a shish kebab God. A God who sent the gospel, but he cannot protect the gospel. A God, he sent the Torah, but he cannot protect the Torah. And what make it more horrible, guess what? According to Islam, Allah wrote the whole Torah by his hand. If Allah write the Torah by his hand, all of it, which means imagine how many trucks Musa is going to carry. All the Torah, all the Torah Allah he wrote by his hands. And then he gave it to Musa. And how Musa is going to carry the Torah after that? Hello? Okay. Are you there? Hello. Speak, my friend. Go ahead. Hello. Speak normally or I go shut. I'm uh, going to hello? hang up on you. Yes, I hear you. Fuck you. Okay, that's his Quran. Is that Quran? This guy he was reciting Quran for us. He said, If you Allahu Akbar. His name is Muslim Muslim. <laughs> his name is Muslim Muslim. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you are Muslim Muslims. This is the best you can do. I mean, well, your God he himself, he said the same. He can do nothing about it. People, as you see here, they are doing the same word you said to me to your God, literally, because if they are corrupting your God book, it's mean they are, you know, doing that F thing to him. Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim when I explain to us why your God Allah is a shish kebab potato hummus? Anyone can spank him and change the book. Any Muslim? So the first thing you as a Christian, when a Muslim, he says to you that the Bible is corrupt. What do you say to him? Somebody tell me in the text, please. What do we, what we say to him? What we answer the Muslim with? We say to him, ah, you are saying the Bible of Allah. Uh -huh. And right away you will see his face turn upside down. No, don't say the Quran. Say the Bible of Allah. We are not talking about the Quran now. We are talking about the Bible. The Torah and the Gospel is specifically. And you will see the Muslim right away, his tail go between his legs and he have nothing to say. In a second. And what make it more stupid is the following. Should we go and or we wait for Muslims to call? Huh? Should any Abdul? Any Abdul? Hello? If there is any Abdul in the bushes, would like to call us and tell us what's happening here. Hmm? <clears throat> you know, uh, <clears throat> when we read the Quran, we find that the Muslims obviously they do not know what their book is talking about. Please don't text me. No, don't text me here. If you want to text, text in the chat, my friend. If you want to text, text in the chat. Don't text me in, Sky in Skype. I have hundreds of people, thousands actually. If everyone want to text me there, the sound will come in my system. And that will be annoying for people. You want to text, text in the chat. Share your idea with the friends, not with me. I do not need your knowledge. All right? So if we go and read the Quran, 
we find that the Quran defeat Muslims about what they claim about the corruption of the book which is the book of the Christians how Allah he spoke to any human The Quran says that Allah He speak to people by inspiration. Okay, the inspiration of Allah was sent to the people, and then the inspiration disappear. People die. People live generation come generation go there is one only he stay alive that is God so the duty of a protecting a book it should be protected that the duty of the one who made the book which is his book who is always alive and he always can protect the book otherwise a human being they die so why Allah cannot protect a book here we will give you an example in chapter 5 verse number 44 it says the following do you know when there is uh, somebody he did not pass his class he was lazy all the year going to disco night club taking hashish No, my friend, I don't go to speaker corner. Speaker corner is something for me. Is, I don't, I don't like it because it's uh, people shouting, and there's a few people there anyway. Right now, I'm speaking to 510 people. I just started saying hello. Why I want to go to speaker corner? In a speaker corner, I cannot show reference. People they scream, people they shout. I'm not, I'm not going to be there. At the same time, I am a person. Um, um, I get angry fast. Yes, I have patient, but I'm at the end of the day, you know, I prefer not to be in such an atmosphere. It was we who revealed the law to Moses. Okay. Allah confirmed that it is we. Here we go. Uh, Allah, he say we. Allah is one, but he say we. The Muslim, they say to you, he say we because this is a, this is a, a a royal speak I mean this is funny to be royal because if Allah is royal that's mean the prince the crown prince of Saudi and Allah they are from the same family what royal either he is one or he is we it is we who revealed the law to Moses therein was guidance and light Okay, so Allah He sent guidance and light. Okay, why the guidance and the light is corrupt? How you can corrupt the light of Allah? How you can corrupt the light of Allah? Let me show you something stupid about Islam. If we go in different verse in the Quran, it says the following. Chapter 9, verse number 32. Laugh with me. Fain they would extinguish Allah light with their mouth. <laughs> this is Muhammad Hijab. <laughs> of the light of Allah. You cannot, you cannot extinguish the light of Allah. Are you kidding me? You cannot. Then the question, Abdul, how this verse says nobody can extinguish the light of Allah, and here the light of Allah is corrupt. Any Muslim? How in chapter 5, verse number 44, it says, uh, let me, uh, 44, this remind me of hijab, 4,000 years, 4,000 years. Not a single Jew 
who is interest is instructed to worship one God for a thousand years show me silence me answer me who is the Muslim wanna show me answer me silence me what a gay this is the light of Allah and the Quran confirmed that nobody can extinguish the right of Allah extinguish do you see it now this is a very clear contradiction because nobody can extinguish the right the light of Allah show me call me answer me So how one verse says nobody can extinguish the light of Allah and other verse says that the, the Torah is the light of Allah and then the Torah is corrupt. Who is the donkey here? Who is the donkey here? The light is Allah words. What do you mean what the light of Allah? The light is the Torah. Focus with me guys. Focus with me. Here in the verse here, the verse of, of Allah is his word teaching, you know. The light of Allah is his words. And Allah is a light. By, by the way, Muhammad is a light too. There is more than one light in Islam. The Quran says, this is why the Shia believe that Muhammad and his family, they are not a human. They are lights from the light of Allah. They used to be five stars in the forehead of Allah. And as a lamp spreading life, light, Muhammad is a lamp. By the way, it doesn't say as fast translation. It says, Muhammad, he claimed that he is a shiny lamp. Do you see it? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? This is why all the Shia. I wish you guys would speak Arabic because I can make I can make it the same this the way they talk. They say they say that like this in TV. Ayuni Hadol Muhammad Bashar Hadol Anwar Rabbaniya Rasulullah Wa Alihi Ajma'in Kanu Nujum Fi Jabhatillah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala Ikhwani Hadol Mubashar Let me translate People, my brothers, they are not a human. They are stars in the forehead of Allah. The Prophet and his family, they are light from Allah. The verse in the front of you. And that explains why Muhammad, he said, that when his mother, she gave birth to him, a light came from her vagina, reached all the way to Syria. I was there at that time. And I have to be honest, I have a tan until now in my skin because of that light. But for some reason, it makes smell because I think it's coming from a vagina. Do we have any Muslim? Do you see how we can defeat Islam in two words? I did not even say hello. I did not even start. This is just for a snack. Who is the Muslim want to call us? Here we go. A Muslim is asking me to show his face. Why you don't ask Allah to show his face a coward? Is it true that Allah, he speak to you from behind the curtain? Why? He is a female. My God, he came to me and he, his name is Jesus the Christ. What is the problem if you're God? Show me your face. If I show you my face, you will ask for more. I'm afraid that you are a Muslim. 
I show you my face, then you ask me to show you my neck, and then you ask me to show me my sh shoulder. And wh where you are going to stop with this? Are you going to debate me, or you want me to? Uh... Hello, sound fishy for me. Do you want my face, or you want my answers? What a stupid people. Now, who is the Muslim when I explain to us how we find such a contradiction and such a stupidity in the Quran? Nobody can extinguish the light of Allah that then we find the light of Allah, which is the Torah, is being extinguished. Anyone? Yeah, I'm a blonde, a black African American from Japan. And the funny, the Muslim, they keep saying to me, "Show me your face," but they are posting picture in YouTube saying this is me. If you have my picture, why you keep saying to me, "Ask, show me your face," you idiot. If this is my picture, as you claim, so why you keep asking me to show my, so my, show your face? I want, I want to see your face. I have a debate once with the with the guy. His name Namatallah Mumtaz. Namatallah Mumtaz is from Taliban. He, this guy, he wants to be famous. He wants to be like Zach and Nag. So he challenged David Wood and Sam Shamon. Uh, and you know, like in the debate with the with the ABN TV, there is no debate really. So I don't I don't go there no more. You know, five minutes for you, five minutes for here. Everybody say whatever he wants, and everybody go home. I don't do that. I do spanking. So the guy he made a mistake and he called me in Skype. And you should see what happened. We spent the first hour saying to me, show me your face. Show me your face. No. Suddenly, because he didn't want to start the debate. He's terrified. He just wants to say to the Muslims, I did debate the Christian prince. After that, we did the spank him as usual. And then the potato, he went to YouTube and he flagged the video saying, this is invasion of my privacy. That is telling you how much victorious he was. Yeah, yeah, it is still in YouTube because there is many people they copy it before they before he took it down. His name Namatullah Mumtaz. He have an Islamic center. He have a big beard. He collect a lot of donation, and the Muslim they think like he is like a big deal. But the guy he have no idea what he's talking about. I mean, you want to debate me, are you sure? You see, actually, if you, I show you on Facebook, Muslims, they text me. They say to me, blah, 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 blah. I say to him just one word, are you sure? The second I say to him, are you sure? He go mute because he knew that there is something will happen after. Are you sure? So now who is the Muslim is going to give us a call and he is sure. That the Bible of Allah is corrupt. Any Muslim? Who is a Muslim? Wanna call us? You see, this is your favorite topic. Who wanna call us and explain to us why the Bible of Allah is corrupt? Isn't it, this is the topic always you like? The Quran says nobody can extinguish the light of Allah. What is the light of Allah? And by the way, how you can extinguish the light of Allah by your mouth? By talking? I thought you can do it in other way. What about writing? But Allah will not allow it. Allah will not allow it. Okay, hold on. If Nobody can extinguish the light of Allah and Allah will not allow it. So what is the Christian princess doing right now? Hmm? By the way, the light of Allah is not working. A blind man, he came to Muhammad. What Muhammad did to him? Did he make him see? How come the light of Allah did not work for the blind man? When the blind man, he came to Jesus, Jesus... He made him see that is the light of Jesus. Where is the light of Allah? 
a blind man came to Muhammad. Do you know what Muhammad did to him? He kicked his ass. He said, get out. I'm busy with the rich people of Quraysh. And then the people, they start talking about how Muhammad is a very, very bad person who have a very bad ethic. And the Christians and the Jews start making fun of him for he is kicking out the, 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 the blind man. So Muhammad, he made a verse for himself saying that Allah told me, how you do that to the blind man? If, 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 if. I mean, you see, I thought Allah guided him, Muhammad, and Muhammad, he will not do such a thing. So now this man, the blind man, became famous. Give me your number. Okay, what number? Skype, my friend, Skype. Why you want to have my number? Why? Why, huh? Do you see people they are posting for you my Skype ID? Just call me. It's for free. It costs you no money. Who is the Muslim when I call us, please? Guys, don't forget to subscribe. Because if you subscribe at the end of the program today, we are going to give out versions. Eh, I paid nothing for them, but it's made by Allah. <laughs> you know, Allah is the best version vendor. I mean, a lot of versions. You cannot even believe it how many. Who is the Muslim when I call me? Any Muslim? What's wrong? What is the Muslims who love to talk about this? Uh, about this topic? What happened? I am a Muslim. You had not for me. Okay. Let us see this guy. Hello, I am a Muslim. You said not far means sperm only and since it remains in the womb for 40 days during the pregnancy it is wrong muslims scholars say notfa mean mixed notfa with both male and female notfa the word only found in text when a sperm mean the meets the eggs please please provide okay my friend muhammad i don't know if you are listening I'm willing to change a little bit on my topic to give me a call. Give me a call. And I will have, be happy to show you how we strip it, what the scholars they say to you about the nutfa, which means the sperm of the man. Now, who is the Muslim when I call us? We have a frozen topic here. People are waiting for you, the Muslims, to call us and explain to us how the gospel of Allah is corrupt. What a shame. I'm really ashamed of you, God of Islam. And look what happened to the God of Islam, guys. What happened is unbelievable. Do you want to know what happened, how the Torah is corrupt? Allah is giving us a story. Please sit down. Bring your popcorn. And keep your mouth closed from time to time because a fly might get in. Because what you will hear from Allah is astonishing. Actually, first time I heard this story, my mouth was like, what? Hello? We are live on air, my friend. Don't call me. I will block you. Unless you want to talk live on air. And I don't talk in private. Why do you want to talk in private? Come on. Muhammad would like to talk in private to women. I mean, imagine Muhammad at his time, he have a Skype. Oof, 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 oof. 
Muhammad will be busy all day long even Jibreel himself cannot contact him the female Muslim women they want to talk to him non-stop now Allah here going back to the topic Allah here is giving us the reason why the Torah was corrupted or how what happened to the Torah it was he it was we we guys we we are a corporation Allah corporation who revealed the law to Moses as between two bracket therein was guidance and light by it is a standard have been guided the Jews by the prophet who bowed to Allah I feel like crying by the rabbis and the doctor of the law for them was entrusted for the protection of Allah book <laughs> what what hold on hold on hold on Allah he entrusted the rabbi to protect his book what let me let me make the text bigger here for the blind one are you sure Allah he entrusted the rabbi brother to protect the Torah Who is a Muslim wanna call me and explain to me how such a mad thing happened? Anyone? Okay, forget about anyone. Look like I say anyone, no Muslim call. Any two? Because Muslims they have their own understanding. You know, during the war with the Jews in Israel the the uh, the Hezbollah and the Israeli army Hezbollah he say Ahmad Ahmad he stood up the sniper shoot him the Jew again he says Muhammad Muhammad he stood up the sniper shoot him a leader of Hezbollah he was very smart he said you, you idiot don't do that don't you see he say Ahmad you stood up he shoot you next time he say Ahmad or Muhammad or Ali when he say Ali Ahmad stood up when he say Muhammad Ali stood up. We have to be smart. We have to know the, the, the war is a game, my friend. If he called Ali, Ali should not stood, uh, stood up. Muhammad should stood up. Don't make them fool us. Allahu Akbar. Now Allah, he entrusted the protection of the book on the rabbi. How that happened? Who want to call me and explain to me? Any Muslim? Focus with me, guys, with the topic. Focus on the topic. Don't ask me about questions about things that have nothing to do with my topic. I have a topic here, very important. Who was a Muslim want to call me? Okay, let us do this. Ahmad, call me. Now we will see Ali, he will call, not Ahmad. Just wait. Ahmad, can you call me, please? Ali, can you call me? Mm -hmm. Okay, let us say this. Shabir Ali, can you call me? That will make Zakir call. Shabir Ali, can you call me? Where is the Muslims? Who is the Muslim when I call us? How Allah, how Allah, he could not protect his book. Want to debate me, my friend? Call me. I mean, come on, don't say, keep saying to me you want to debate me, want to debate me, want to debate me. I mean, do you have to say that 100 times? Just call me. I am live on air, my Skype is open, and may Allah give you all the strength. Go ahead, call me. Should I play for you a uh, hijab saying, Call me, answer me, 
silence me show me here we go i hope that will help you better who is the muslim when i call me answer me silence me show me hmm? we have a we have a i don't know we have a, the muslims today are terrified usually they are brave by the way i'm telling you, they are brave each time we show a muslim a reference from their book they say uh this is weak uh show me from sahih al-bukhari then we show them from sahih al-bukhari they say sahih al-bukhari is a human <laughs> Oh boy, are we going to wait for long for the Abdul to call us, the one who said he want to call? Don't text me, my friend, just call. If you are a person who want to, if you are a Muslim, just call. There's no need for waves and hand and how you're doing. Just call me. Nice to meet you. Anyone? Okay, we have Ala Din here. Let us see. Answer, please. Mm -hmm. No. Where is the Muslims? Are we froze here? Come on, we have a topic we need to continue. I'm waiting for you Muslims to present your story. You know, you know, one of the funny things about Quran that Allah, he claimed that he gave the Torah to Moses. But in the Torah of Moses, Allah, he taught Moses that eye for an eye and nose for a nose. <laughs> Give me your nose. Why you want my nose? Because you took my nose. That's very nosy, my friend. Eye for an eye, I got that. But doesn't mean really, I mean, eye for an eye, this is an example of what the law is about. But nose for nose? Eye for an eye, nose for a nose, ear for an ear, tooth for a tooth. Hmm. Who is the Muslim want to call us? I really like it nose for a nose. I find it very special. Especially if my nose is big and your nose is smaller. I would love that. Hey guys, who want to exchange nose for a nose? You hit me in my nose and I take your nose in return. Hello? Hello? Where is the guy who was desperately when I debate me? What happened? Are you rejecting my call? My friend, everybody can hear you if you are calling. Stop lying. Stop lying. Give me your Skype. I will call you. Everybody will hear you if you call me. My Skype is in my computer connected to my sound system. Hmm. You see, Muhammad always he understand the law of Musa wrongly. Nose for a nose, eye for an eye. How Muhammad he understood this? In different verse he explained. You will go crazy when you see it. Now, who is a Muslim when I call us? Hmm. 
Mr. Wise, give me your uh, name in Skype. I will call you, my friend. I will call you. All right? Give me your Skype. Let me call you. I will be honored to call your majesty. And we will debate nose to nose. Not face to face. I hope your nose is not going to run. Are you there? Give me your Skype. Let me call you. Anyway, let us continue here. When the Quran says that Allah, he entrusted the protection of the book on the Jews, specifically the rabbis and the doctors of law, By the way, there's nothing called doctors. I mean, doctors, I mean, translation is very funny. At that time, there's doctors. Anyway, that's funny. I love it. I love it when the Muslims translate their book. Question to the Muslims. As long Allah, he is the one who entrusted the protection of the book to the Jews, specifically the rabbis, and the Jews, obviously, they did fail Allah trust. It is the fault of who? The Jews or Allah? Who is the Muslim when I call me? This is the fault of who? The Jews or Allah? May they, may they. Any Muslim, he have an answer, please. Because when I say, you see, this is your Muslim translation, not mine. And this is what the Quran is saying. Is tuhfizu, entrusted. As long Allah, he chose certain people when he trusted them. And then those people, they did not or they were not a trustworthy, that's mean Allah, he made the wrong decision. Guys, you understand what I'm saying? Do you, are, you, are you listening? If I say that Allah, he trusted me, the second you say the word of trust, what trust me? Trust mean that in that moment, I believed that you are a good person. Correct? You are trustworthy. I made a decision you are trustworthy and this is why I trusted you that's what it meant and as long as those Jews they were not trustworthy that's mean Allah cannot be God because he made wrong decision he trusted the wrong one how a Muslim can explain to us such a disaster If you give somebody the keys for your house and you trust him and then you come back and you find your house is empty that's mean you were a fool excuse me Allah he gave the key of his secret words to the Jews and the Jews they got it and they took it and they ran away with it that mean that Allah was a fool. Why he trusted the wrong one? Any Muslim? Do you love me? Do you? Do you? Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? Just call me. I mean, what I would do for you, here we go, I'm singing, just to make you more attracted to call. Hoping that maybe, uh, hold on, did I say maybe? Oh, please don't do that. Uh, please don't do that. The Quran is full of it. Allah, he keeps saying maybe. Have you ever heard of a God keeps saying maybe? Maybe. 
no no my friend you have to be you have to be a muslim to call me don't call me if you are a christian please only muslims please please we are watching all this time for a muslim and now you are calling me come on don't do that a muslim now he will say oh i tried to call you and the guy was speaking no so as you see here the Quran is giving us a very stupid excuse why the Torah is not protected. Hmm. And by the way, here in the verse, it doesn't say that the Torah is not protected. But this is what the Muslim says. The verse itself does not say that. It says that Allah he entrusted the rabbis to protect his book. That's it. This is the job of the rabbi. But as long as the Muslims they keep saying to us that Torah and the gospel are both are corrupt, that's mean Allah he is the one to blame. He chose and he trusted the wrong ones. And that's mean that Allah cannot be God. Now, if we go few steps more in the same chapter we will find the following shall we in verse number 46 it says and in their footsteps which mean the jews footsteps and the prophet before we send a guy his name is isa not jesus and the quran the whole quran there's no jesus Muhammad, he got a name for a guy. His name is Isa. Who is Isa? We do not know. We are Arab Christians, and we never use that name, and we never called anyone Isa. In Arabic, we call him Yeshua. In Hebrew, they call him Yeshua. And the, in, in the Greek, because they don't have equal words, became, uh, 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 you know, what you have it today as uh, Jesus at the end of the Latin language. We do not know who is Isa. But forget about this for now. And in his footsteps, we send the Isa confirming the law. That had come before him. Okay. Question. Why Allah he sent the Isa if the law which came before him is confirmed? I mean, do they need more prophets? The Jews already have a lot of prophets. What Isa he would do more? I mean, what is that? What for? They are already Jews. They are already believe in Allah, supposedly according to Islam, and they are already believe in Musa's. So, why we need one more prophet? Any Muslim? What this prophet will do? Any Muslim? I am really, really so disappointed of you Muslims. How you can contact me, my friend? My my ID is debate TV. Just contact me there and you will be able to call me. Just call me right away. Search for the name. Debate TV. Okay, and you can call me. And by the way, I don't have any more people in my uh, uh, in my uh, Skype uh, block people. All the names which I blocked them before, I took them off. I block you just temporarily, so we can fix this issue where you Muslims became annoying, you know. You want to act like a kid, so I block you. That's what I can do. So who is the Muslim would like to call me? Actually, still I have some names. I'm cleaning them out right now. I don't know if you guys you can hear it. Man, a lot of names.
who as a Muslim would like to call us all those are kids hmm <clears throat> so who's the one when I call if Jesus is confirming the law of Moses why he came according to Islam what is the message what is the purpose of sending Jesus if the Jews still they have the law of Moses and they are following the law of Moses so why Allah he send them one more We are just trying to understand your logic, Muslims. Anyone? No? Okay, Mr. Explain Islam, call me, please. Go ahead. We have Mr. Explain Islam. He will explain Islam to us. That's wonderful. Look like his name. Look like maybe he's a professional Muslim who can explain to us. <coughs> Hello? 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 Yes. Go ahead, we are live on air. What do you want to say? Oh, you don't hear me? Hold on, give me a second. I guess you can hear me. A second, back. a second. Don't hang up, don't hang up. Hold on. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, this is my Skype for some reason is switching. All right. <clears throat> Let us call him back. <coughs> Hello. All right, Chick. How are you? Hello. You hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. All right. What do you want to say to us, Chick? Uh, I say hi to everybody first. All right. You know our topic. Uh, right? You are watching the uh, YouTube. Yes. I was watching earlier YouTube, but I'm okay. Well, I'm we are talking about Allah in chapter five, verse number. Uh, 46 and we have in 44 Allah he trusted the Jews to protect the book what do you say about that why Allah trusted the Jews um, what I heard you asking was uh, mm. why did, did Allah send Jesus if he is why why did he need to yeah send yeah we, we would talk about we are talking about both issues you know the same chapter Allah, he trusted the Jews to protect his book. What do you say about that first? Um, the Jews, you know, uh, you know what they did. What they did? You can, you can, uh, what they did to, to, to Jesus. What they did to the... What they did to, to the, Jesus. What, what they did to Jesus. I don't understand. Who tried to put him on the cross and kill him? The Jews, right? I thought, I thought the Jews did not kill him. It did not. I said they, they tried to kill him. Ah, ah okay. Right. Right. But this is not about the, the, uh, Jesus but, and the but, cross but, now. But, this but, is not this. This I'm talking about the the, the, the Torah. Allah, he entrusted the Jews and the rabbis to protect his book. Is that a true? Do you believe in that? Please, uh, I am elaborating. Let me talk. Mm. Don't don't cut me off. Don't talk over me. I don't talk over you. Mm. Give this to yeah. you. Go ahead, we are go the ahead. 21st century. Go ahead. You know, give some respect, please. You ask me, Allah said, you trust these people. How many people can you trust and they distrust you? Hmm. How many people? I trust you, Christian Prince. Here is my $1 million. Hmm. I'm going to spend it on some other things. Hmm. The Jews are who, who are they watching now? Why, why, didn't, why didn't they follow the teachings of Moses, of, of, of Jesus? Hmm. You wouldn't be a Christian if Allah didn't send Jesus. Hmm. How, how would you be a Christian? Hmm. 
thank Allah because the, the Jews already messed up the religion. Hmm. So Allah give you a chance. How would you be a, a Christian if Allah did not send Jesus right now? You wouldn't be sitting over here seeing the hmm. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, would you? Okay. Are you done? Yes, go ahead. Okay. You see, the problem here, it says that Allah, he entrusted, and you are the one who said, I trust you with a million dollars. So when you make a decision to trust me with a million dollar, and then I steal the million dollar from you, that's mean you're wrong. You made the wrong decision. Do you agree? I didn't make a wrong decision. Yes, because I took the money. You entrusted me. You entrusted me with the money, and I took the money. If I was faithful, that's mean your decision was right. If I am not faithful, that's mean your decision is was really horrible. So Allah, He entrusted the Jews to protect the book. And the Jews they corrupt the book, so Allah He made the wrong decision, and that will prove it to us that Allah cannot be God, for He chose the wrong one to trust. The second you say I trust, it's mean I believe in you to be trustworthy. I believe in you. This is what entrust me. Yes. So Allah He made the wrong decision. He believed that the Jews are trustworthy, but then the Jews, you know, they did not uh, fulfill His wish that they are trustworthy, and they were bad according to Islam. And that's mean Allah cannot be God. He was guessing. He was, you know, he, he thought, he thought that they are trustworthy, but they are not. So how he can be God? Allah trusted us all. When, from the beginning, when he said to Adam, I'm going to be sending you down to the earth. Mm. When he, mm. we made a covenant with him. Mm. I'm giving you a second thing. Mm. You just, you just violated mm. uh, 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 Iblis. Iblis hmm. was an angel. Right. When he, he was asked to bow down, he refused. He was struck. He refused. He got doomed. We got given a second chance. Hmm. You're going down the road. I'm going to be sending you messengers. Hmm. And you follow them all. Right now, Allah trusted you, Christian Prince, but you, you refused to follow Muhammad. But what does that have to that, do with my topic? Happened. You see, here I, they trusted. Not, Hold I'm on. Not, you see, I'll change the topic. I'll change the topic. Uh, here he, he trusts them in a specific mission. It is to protect the book. Specific mission to protect the book. Why Allah yeah. He trusted them to protect the book? Listen, the book, every book is supposed to, if I send you a book mm -hmm. to help you mm -hmm. that I told you about, mm -hmm. you already talked about. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be sending you a book. You mm -hmm. said yes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be following the book. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be going by your word. Mm -hmm. And Allah send the book, mm -hmm. send the send and Moses, they change it. Mm. They put. They, mm. they said Moses said Jesus is gonna come. They said no. Mm. When Jesus came, they said no. Kill mm. him. Mm. Kill him. What does this have to do with my Kill question? Him. What does this have to do with my question? My question, my friends, focus with me, please. Allah, He trusted them in a specific thing. This, we're not talking about following God and not to be good, to be bad. He trusted them in a specific mission. He gave them a book. Yes. He said, "This book, it's yeah. you who protect it." And you are the one who say the trust, you know, in trusting in somebody, it's meant to believe in somebody, he will do that, right? Okay. So Allah, he have a wrong belief in the Jews. He thought the Jews are good people. They will not corrupt his book. That's why he said, I entrusted them. So the second you say trust, it means I believe, you can go and check in the dictionary what trust means. I believe that you are a trustworthy and you are a good person. So when Allah, he made the promise that I will give you the book and I trust you, and the Jews did not uh, did the Jews spoke to Allah says okay we accept your trust give it to us no Allah he gave it to Moses the prophet no no hold on Allah he never spoke to any of the Jews the only one he spoke to according to the Quran only Moses so he gave it to Moses and now Allah is saying he entrusted the rabbis he did not entrust Moses he entrusted the rabbi so the rabbi and the doctor of the law Allah entrusted them to protect the book so Allah, he made a very wrong decision, and this is a proof to us that Allah cannot be God. Uh, first of all, you're here uh, lying on, 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 on the Quran, saying that the Quran never said that. The Quran said, Allah said he made a covenant that every single one of us, mm. Jews, black, white, all of us mm. have made a covenant with Allah that mm. he's going to be sending us down to here on the earth. What does have to do with my topic? What does have to do with my topic? You see that you see that verse, my friend, read it. It says he trusted, he trusted them in protection of the book. He did not trust the Hindu. Did he trust the Hindus? No. Did he trust the Buddhas? No. Did he trust the Christians? No. Did he trust the American? He trust Japanese. He trust only the rabbis of the Jews. Focus with me, please. Focus. It's not even all the Jews. 
only the rabbis of the Jews focus I am very focused okay so specific people who they are rabbis not all the Jews too not anyone only the rabbis Allah he trusted them so the rabbi of the Jews they were not a trustworthy so Allah he made the wrong decision explain first of all tell me what uh, which verse you're talking about tell me it's amazing you are debating me for the last 15 minutes and you do not know what verse I'm talking about Tell me the verse. But isn't it amazing that you are answering me for the last 15 minutes, but you don't even know what verse I'm talking about? I know that Allah already made a covenant with all of us. You see, isn't it amazing? Mm -hmm. Please answer me. Isn't it amazing that you are refuting me in something you don't even read? I mean, I how wanna, how how in the yeah. world you do that? How in the world you do that? I and when you call me, I said to you the, the chapter number, the verse number, but obviously you are not listening, guys. Did I say to him? Did I say to him chapter, etc., verse, etc.? It says, etc. And now he, now, now he said, I did not. Well, what is the verse? I'm recording it. I'm recording it too. People, they can go. I said to you the verse number. I, I said, you are <laughs> lying. I just called you. Abdul. You said uh, Abdul. Abdul. You. Okay. Do you want to make a challenge? Do you want to make a challenge? If I go back in the video and I play the video let's back, say, what you will do? Let's say I. Let's say I overheard. I. Uh, I uh, overheard it. Uh, okay. Okay. Let, let's go back from zero. Let's go back from zero. Let's go back from zero. No problem. I will forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive thee. Okay. Chapter five. Hold on. Chapter five. Verse number forty-four. Allah, he said in okay. the Quran, we, we entrusted the protection of the book. By who? By the rabbi and the doctors of law. He said, chapter 5, 44, he said, right? Yes. Okay. That's all I, you know, that's all I need, you know, in only to, to, to. Yeah, but I'm wondering how you were answering me all this time, but you don't, you don't even know what, what you are talking about. You do not know what the oh, chapter, you do not know what the verse, and yet you are answering me. Because I got a bigger picture. Ah, you got a picture. Yes, mm. yes. The bigger picture was Allah made a covenant with every single. The, the, I don't know how many billions. Or Abdul, billions. Abdul, Abdul. You are, you are, you are missing the point. First of all, Allah He never made a covenant with anyone, and I'll prove it that to you. I will get you busted. But after we finish this one, I promise you. This is five forty-four, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have sent down the Torah containing guidance and light, ruling in accordance with it. Uh, word, word, the Jews, prophets, as well as the, uh, as well as the rabbits and the priests, mm. as dedicated to them in God's scripture, mm. and as a witness, and as witness, and as witnessed by them. Mm. Therefore, do not reverence human beings. You shall reverence me instead, and do not trade away my revelations for a cheap price mm. those who do not rule in accordance with god revelations are dis disbelievers so you even lying mm. where is the word trust over here uh, the word is in front of, abdul it's in front of me on the screen i am reading over here interpreting i'm facing the quran my friend you are reading a translation and the translation says to you the protection correct that I just read you the whole thing. We okay. have sent you, down the no, Torah you did not read me the whole thing. No, 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 you see, you are, reading, you are reading your own. You are, what translation you are reading? Does it matter? So it doesn't matter. Do, do, it doesn't matter do, for me. For, for want, me, in do. Arabic, 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 it says, Istahfadu. Here we go. Istahfidu. Istahfidu mean entrusted. It's in front oh. of you. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. The Quran in front of me. Oh, it says, الذين أسلموا والذين هادوا والربانيون والأحبار بما استحفظوا من كتاب الله read it so this is the Arabic Quran you are reading for me a translation and in there in the translation doesn't say entrusted this is not my problem in Arabic it says that and here we go even your Islamic translation this is Yusuf Ali translation it says the word entrusted okay hmm. uh, let me get another one you speak tall I I did a second translation over here. Mm. Uh, 45, 44, right? Mm. Five forty-four. Mm. The, the, the Torah was in his guidance, light by which the prophet who surrendered to Allah, <laughs> judge the Jews and the rabbis and the priests by such Allah's scripture. 
mm. as they were been uh, are they were bidden to observe and there unto were these witnesses so fear not mankind but fear me so i'm i did two translations i'm facing TikTok. i'm facing okay <laughs> i don't see the world i've got i just read two translations mm. now you want to put me through a different translation mm. so, what we, so what we would do now what translation you like more listen to me what translation me. hold on no no what translation you like more? what what the translation you like more give me a translation you like best which one i told you i just read pictures what which one you like big tal you like big yes. okay i'm going to Probably. switch my screen to big tal hold on guys did he say he liked big tal okay we i will... said i just read it no no you, you like do you like big tal or not don't tell me because after i show you big tal don't say to me i don't like big tal do you like big tal or not i'm telling you the one i like you never put it up there Okay, so you put okay, so you like it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, okay, here we go. It says, and they were obedient to obedient to observe. So it is the same. They are interested to observe. What? What? Here we go. This is Big Tal. It says that Allah He gave them the Jews. Allah He gave to the rabbis and to the priests, the judges. By okay. such Allah scriptures as they were bidden to observe, to what okay, to observe. observe, okay, and they are into they were the witnesses. So okay. what what observe mean? What they will do? Follow. Only follow. What does observe mean? Mm. Oh, no more English. You me no English. Very okay. good. Let me yes. get you busted. Let me get you busted. This is Tafsir al Jalalain. Me, this me, is Tafsir Jalalain. This is Tafsir Jalalain. Shut up, shut up. Hold on. Let everybody laugh at you. Let everybody laugh at you. This is Tafsir Jalalain. Does it say they are entrusted or not? Does it say they are entrusted or not? Here we go. This is the word observe. And this is the word bidden. Observe the same translation. And then it says, which was entrusted to them. The mic is yours. I'm telling you, everywhere you go in the world, Allah bring books, bring law to be followed. Observe the law, Abdul. Observe the Abdul, law. don't play games. Uh, give me the give me the interpretation for the verse, and I will get you busted. Which interpretation you like me to show you? This is a Jalalain. Which one you like? You like Ibn Abbas? You like Ibn Kathir? Do you like Shish Kebab translation? What what interpretation? What interpretation you agree with? Okay, uh, if we need an interpretation, we probably will need interpretation for for our debate right now. Do do I need an uh, do those people listening to us? need an interpretation yes because here we go either either you or me lying here we go this is the muslim scholars they are not working for me they are not working for you they are saying that we are entrusted for them to protect the book so why you are lying let me finish hmm. we are here debating people listening to us do they do do they need an interpret yes they need they need because one of us is lying either you or me if the scholars taking my side if the muslim scholar taking my side then you tell me why why the why the muslim scholar they think it is entrusted and you think it's not interested you are so limited of understanding i'm telling you about okay no hold on that you are saying to me that ajala lane is very limited in understanding is that what you mean no i'm talking to you but, but ajala, you, but ajala you, lane is the one saying that abdul my friend my friend it is, a, it, is a Jalalain, it is a Jalalain who is saying oh. that it is entrusted. It is not a Christian a prince. It is Yosef Ali who said entrusted, not a Christian prince. It is your scholars and your translation saying entrusted, not Christian I prince. Bet. So why you are you blaming me for what the Muslims they say? I'm not blaming you. Okay. I'm telling you. So now, you, but you said no. Finish. You said I'm lying. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Uh -huh. Don't cut me off. Let me finish. Mm. Okay. People are listening. Okay. And, and I know they got brains. Me and you are having a debate <laughs> over here. They're listening to it. I just said. Let, let, let me put what I just said. I said me and you are just having a debate, and they're listening to it. Do they need an interpreter to understand that? Yes. No, they don't. Yes, because so first of all, first of all. I need to get you busted and the oh only way God. I can do it is to show you that you are lying how I can show people that you are a liar simply by showing you what your scholar they say about I this I just call you I just put two books and none of them is saying let me pull again hold on 
Abdul, you are choosing. Here we go. What about Ibn Kathir? Do you like Ibn Kathir? No, 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 hold on. Just hold on. No, no, why, why you don't like the scholars to explain the verse for us so they can solve the problem between me and you? What do you think? I don't, listen to me. I've been telling you that. No, don't tell I me said, that. What, what What's wrong with the scholars? Why the Muslim scholars? Hold on, hold on. You need you need to explain to me. You need to explain to me why a Jalalain, who is a Muslim scholar, he is saying entrusted. If it is not entrusted, why he's why he's saying that? You gotta let me finish my sentence. I will not let you finish. You have to finish first answering. Why a Jalalain saying that? I even don't know who is Jalalain. I don't care. What about Ibn Kathir? Do you know 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 Ibn Kathir? Listen to me. Do you know Ibn Kathir? No, I don't. Oh, get lost then. If you do not know Ibn Kathir, you are a liar. This is Ibn Kathir in the front of us saying the same. Here we go. You see, this is this is Ibn Kathir saying the same. For them, it was entrusted the protection of Allah book. So you are nothing but a scam, like you're a prophet. How you lie to okay. us, you say it doesn't say that if even all your all your Islamic scholars agree. This is Ibn Kathir, this is Ajala Lane. We can show you Ibn Abbas, we can show you all Muslim scholars, all of them they agree. All of them they agree, but you are the only one who got it right. Why? Who are you? Okay, yeah. Now can I talk? You can. Can I talk? Sure. Well, okay. Answer me. Why they get it wrong? Why Ibn Kathir get it wrong? Why Ajala okay. get it wrong? You you asking the same question one million times. Can I talk? Mm, go. Okay, please let me let me elaborate. Please, mm. I'm begging you. Mm. Let me finish. Let mm. me let me finish my point. Mm. We read. We just read a crystal clear verse. Where the, where, the, where the, the crystal clear verse? Where? Can I finish? No, Can you I cannot finish? finish because you are reading translation. You are a donkey. You are basing your answer in the translation. I base my I base my answer on the Arabic verse. Do you know the word in Arabic? In Arabic, it says was was tuhfidu. What is tuhfidu mean? In Arabic, last time I called you, you said al uh, baaduna uh, wasn't there. You Abdul, said Abdul, 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 Abdul. What is was tuhfidu? What is tuhfidu? What is tuhfidu mean here? What what what's al baaduna mean? What is baaduna? I never heard of this word. What's word baaduna? Thirty three twenty al baaduna fil Arabi. What is that? Go to thirty three twenty and read it al baaduna fil Arabi. T tell me what it means. I never heard of such a word in Arabic. This is an Arabic word. Go to thirty three twenty. You will see. But, but you are not saying it correctly. Say it again, please. Slow. Baaduna al baaduna fil Arabi. Baaduna. What baaduna, man? What baaduna? Are you sure? Open your camera. Yes. Open your camera. <laughs> Abdul, okay. Do you want me to get you busted? Do you want me to get you yes. busted again about Al Arab? Do you want me to do that? No, no, no. Al Baaduna fil Arabi. What Baaduna? What Baaduna? What Baaduna? There's no no such a word. What Baaduna? What Baaduna? Open thirty three twenty. You in Arabic? Abdul, Please. there is what? What are you talking about? Thirty through what? Thirty three twenty. 30 through 20, 33, 20. Okay, and there is a word yes. that says what? Al Baaduna fil Arab. What is that Baaduna mean? That, that's what I'm asking you. You said you know Arabic, right? Where, where is Al Baaduna? There's no Baaduna. You mean the Baadun? I said, read the verse in Arabic. What is there's no Baaduna? You keep saying Baaduna, Baaduna. There is no Baaduna. Okay, uh, can you can you read it, please, though? Okay, here. Yes, Habun al Ahzab, Lam Yazhabu. We in Yasin Ahzabu, you do you would do low and Nahum, Baduna fil Arabi. Yes, okay. Okay. Did you hear Badun fil Arabi? What does this have to do with our topic? It's not Baduna, it's not Baduna, it is Baduna, Baduna. <laughs> A donkey is laughing. <laughs> There's no baduna, you donkey. Do you want to show everybody in the screen so everybody will laugh at you? <laughs> baduna, <laughs> not baduna. Baduna. There is no baduna. What baduna? Okay, now tell me what it means. Tell me the word you just read. Tell me what it means. You tell me. You are the one who knows. What what does it mean? Go ahead. We are laughing. No, you said what? No, tell me. No, you tell me. No, you tell me. What does that mean? No, 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 no. You, I want you, you see, to, everybody, to, to, everybody is laughing at you. 
Al-Baduna means Bedouin. The Baduna is the Bedouin. Fil Arabi, the Bedouin yeah. of Al Arabi. Mm. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> no, Abdul. The word Baduna. The, the, hold on, hold on. Shut up, idiot. You're 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 you're, you're a sort of you're a certified donkey, as the rest of you. Baduna is the people who they are Al Badia, coming from the word Al Badia. Al Arab is those who they are Bedouin. Tell me, do you I'm see it? Doing, Here we go. This is me let me get you busted, Abdul. This is Big Tal. You are the one who said to me, Read Big Tal. Aren't you the one who said to me, Read Big Tal? Are you the one who said to me, Read Big Tal? This is Big Tal. He I, get you busted. Hold on, shut up, idiot. It says here the Bedouin. Where is the word Bedouin? Where is the word Bedouin in the verse? Everybody is laughing at you. You are a certified donkey who do not know Arabic, and you are the one who chose for me the verse to read, right? Here we go. The word there, Bedouin. What is the word Bedouin there? <laughs> He's laughing at himself. Abdul, everybody is laughing at you. You are a certified donkey. The word Baduna is those who live in the wilderness. The word Arab is Bedouin. You are the one who said to me that Arab does not mean Bedouin. You are a certified donkey. Baduna is not is not the Bedouin. It is the Arab the Bedouin. And here we go, the translation in front of you. This is Big Tal. You are the one who chose that for me. Let me let me show you, you, you donkey. Here we go. Have not uh, with the draw of the confidence of those who they are in the world and they were in the desert wandering those are the Bedouin Who live in the <laughs> desert, <laughs> but who are they what what the Quran called them call them Al -Arab, Among the Bedouin so those who live in the desert among the Bedouin So what is the first of those who live in the desert? It is Baduna you are a certified donkey the second word is Arab which is the Bedouin and you are the one who said to me show me I challenge you where the word Arab mean Bedouin Which one is so be, 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 Arab Arab it's in the front of you this is the translation you choose for me Which one you which verse you translating the, the same verse one? yes it's chapter 33 verse number 20 everybody is reading laughing at you and this is the it translation is. you accepted yourself okay. big tal okay. Okay, now, okay, now, the world, you're listening, right? The whole world is listening, right? Mm. He just said, Al-Arabu, I know you can make this between Al-Arabi and Al-Arabu. Shut up, you stupid donkey. I have no time for kids. You are a coward, you are a potato. It's in the front of us. Everybody is laughing at you. It's in the front of you. Coward. He don't speak Arabic. He do not know what he's talking about, and he is the one who challenged me to go there. And here we go. The verse in the front of us: the bad, the the, the, the Bedouin, the word Bedouin, the Badu, is those who live in the desert. And Arab is the the, the Bedouin themselves. And this is your translation, the one you accept. You challenge me to prove that the word Arab mean Bedouin. It's in the front of you. Stupid donkey. Can we find one Muslim he knows what he's talking about? Now we go back to our topic. As you see in the front of us, the verse says it clearly that Allah He entrusted the Jews. They keep changing the translation, the one they wish, the one they like, the one they hope it is going to be fit with them. So if we go now from translation to translation, let's go to Al Maududi. Hmm. Look what Al Maududi said. Entrusted. Do you see it? So what the Muslims they do, they try to avoid the stupid problem in the Quran. Allah He entrusted the Jews, and they cannot get away with this problem. They do not know how to read Arabic. They have no idea what it says, and they depend in the translation. And what they do, they choose a translation which they like, but it doesn't work. Because we can go and see what the scholars they say. If all your scholars agree, that's mean either you or the scholars are stupid. You have to choose one. Who is the one is a liar? If Ibn Kathir says it is entrusted, this is Ibn Kathir. 
for them it was entrusted the protection of Allah book as simple as that and this is the interpretation so if you are a guy who do not know how to pronounce a word in Arabic correctly and then we have Ibn Kathir, we have a Jalalain, we have Al-Qurtubi, we have Al-Tabari, we have all the Muslim scholars, they say, meaning they were entrusted with the book of Allah. Who are you to say it does not mean that? Coward potato. I am not the one saying that. It's your scholars. And this is what it says in Arabic. Protect. If we go right now in the Quran, we say what the word hafada. Stupid idiot. They are the same, all of them. They are a copy of each other. They, they try to make a mockery of you. But the fact they are making mockery of themselves. We are not here to shout and to argue. We are here to prove what we say. Now, if this guy, this potato, he is sure that this is what it's meant, then he need to explain to us why the scholars don't agree with him, but they agree with me. Why someone, Ibn Kathir, like Ibn Kathir, he say entrusted? What's wrong with Ibn Kathir? He, he got it wrong? His Arabic is not good like you? You are an African person who do not know two words in Arabic? Why Ibn Kathir will take my side? Why Ajalalain will take my side? Right? So easy people, they can notice that you are not being honest. You are just trying to argue and you laugh at yourself to make yourself like, you. okay, or well, I'm making a point. <laughs> everybody is listening. Yes, everybody is listening and they see in the screen. You see, the problem is this is not the same as a speaker corner. In speaker corner, you can get away with it. Here we show it in the screen. Hello? Are you there, my friend? <clears throat> Hello? Are you there? Are you there? Okay, I will hang up on you if you don't talk. Are you there? Hmm. We have Isa trying to call. Let us see what Isa want to say. Yes, Isa, you are trying to call me. Hello. Yes. Are you online? Are you uh, are you live now? Yeah, I thought you called me. I don't know. You called me, and I'm not online. Yes, I am online. We are talking about a chapter four, five, verse number forty-four in the Quran, where Allah He says that He trusted the Jews and the, the rabbis to protect the Torah. Why Allah He said that He trusted them to protect the Torah if they cannot protect? You're asking why did Allah ask them to protect it if they can't if they can't protect it? Yeah, why Allah? Why Allah He? He said that he gave the Torah to Moses, but he entrusted the rabbis to protect the Torah. I don't see a problem. Well, when I say a trust, what explain to me what trust means? If I say I trust you, I give you one million dollar, and I trust you not to take it. What does that mean? That you have confidence that I won't take it. I trust you. Trust is a covenant only. A covenant is, you know, an agreement. But the trust, it's mean I put my trust on you. 
he would have trust. You know, he, yeah, he thought he ordered them to he, he, he ordered them to to preserve it. Oh, he ordered them to preserve it. Thank you very much. But it says here the word of trust. So he ordered them to preserve it and he wanted them to preserve it and in the same time he trusted them to preserve it first of all where allah he ordered the jews to preserve it how this happened did allah spoke to the jews or only he spoke to well, moses they, they, they know about it because it's in their book i don't understand did allah spoke to the jews or the rabbis or he spoke only to moses Only to only Allah only communicates through messages and prophets. All right, so Allah did not speak to the Jews. That, that, that's wonderful. So Allah did not even talk to the Jews, and the Jews did not say, Hey, we can we accept? And so, and Allah He made a decision that He will trust the rabbi on protecting His book. Why Allah He made such a promise to protect to 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 entrust the Jews if the Jews are not trustworthy. Them not being trustworthy—that's—that's that's their fault. No, that's not. But the, they have a That's not the problem because this is the book of Allah. Allah, this is Allah book. When Allah He trusts me to protect His book, and then His book is lost, then He, this is His fault because He trusts the wrong person. If I give you no, the money, not. if I give you that's the money, ridiculous. listen, listen. If no, I give you, I, if I give you a money, no, and I say to you, I want you please to give this money to someone you trust. And then you say, okay, I'm going to trust my friend. His name is Ahmad, and I will give him the money. I came to you after two months, and you said to me, well, what I can do, Ahmad was a thief. He took the money. I will say to you, what, how you trust him then? So how Allah, he trusts the thieves? Yeah, like I said, I, I see what you're saying. I, I, I understand what you're saying. You're, you're trying to say that Allah thought that they were trustworthy, and then he found out that they were not. Obviously, this is what it says here. I mean, it says uh, he entrusted you're, you're them. Is very as long as the word there is yeah, in, trusted entrusted, them. okay. Yeah, but the trust means that I am confident that you are a trustworthy. This is what the trust mean. You, you don't you don't give your trust. You don't give your trust for somebody is maybe it's, uh, the word of trust have to do with being being trustworthy. Uh, If I say to you, he did, he did not if say, I say to you, I do you trust? Them. Okay, if I say you, do you trust Allah? What does that mean? Explain to me. You trust Allah. What does that mean? That I know that he's going to fulfill his promise. Of course. You are sure? Do you know, or you are sure he will not betray you? I am sure he would not betray me. See, here we go. And that's so my the point. word, so he the word of trust, say, so the word of trust, trust it says that it says that he entrusted them. It says that he trusted them. He entrusted them to protection of the book. So he is sure. This is what you say to me. I am sure when I say trust, I am sure he will not betray me. So Allah, he entrusted the Jews and protection of his book. He gave them a special mission and he trusted them only in that mission. Nothing else. He entrusted them to protect the book. And yet the Muslims they say to us that the book of Allah was corrupt. That's mean Allah trust was was a exactly. hopeless. Yeah, no, he said I gave them a trust. It's a big difference. I, I gave them a trust and I trust. Where, them. where, where it says where where it says he gave them a trust. I mean, my friend, my friend, where where is the word give, where is the word gave them a trust? What does that mean? If I even if I give you a trust, it's mean I give you a trust. If Allah says to me, be decent, Allah He say what word is going to be. If Allah is God, if hold on, hold on. If I am a bad person and Allah say, Christian Prince, from now on you will be decent. Can I go against the will of Allah or I will be decent? I will be decent. So if you are saying to me he gave them a trust, that's that's funny. Allah he entrusted them is to feel so Allah he entrusted them in the protection of the book who only the rabbis not all the Jews the rabbis and the doctors of the law so Allah he entrusted them but the Jews they were not a trustworthy so Allah he made the wrong decision therefore Allah cannot be God and let me ask you a question let me ask you how Allah he say he entrusted the Jews if he never spoke to the Jews? What's the difference between trust? What's the difference between trust and entrust? Trust and what? I don't hear you. Your voice There's is a cutting. big difference. What is the difference between what? Trust and what? Trust 
and entrust. There are different words with different meanings. Okay, here we go. Entrusted. My friend, first of all, I'm reading in Arabic. I don't read in English. This is your translation. But I however, when we say when we say entrusted, what what entrusted mean? What entrusted mean? What entrusted mean? What does that mean? We can go to Google right now and that we can say you gave search. someone a trust. Okay, here we go. That means you gave past you gave tense. Hold on, hold on, trust. hold on. Entrust. Okay. It is it says there this is the dictionary. Okay. Google, you're not gonna find a trust and interest. Assign the, the responsibility of doing something to someone. I have been entrusted with the task of getting him safety back. This is giving you an example. So it's about put something into someone care or protection so in allah if allah he put he, he put he put so english hmm? what thank you very much i don't hear you Isa. your voice is cutting thank you very much that, that's that's what i was saying there's a difference between trust and interest hmm. what do you mean you proceed people to entrust their saving to you which mean if i put i put my money in the bank i entrust so, i entrust i entrust the bank to save my money is that correct the people who work in the bank they are hired for to do what to protect my money so i i bought i bought my money in the bank trust. because i trust no. them not because they are not trustworthy do you I, take your money so do you I take your money to someone you do not know except in the bank in the bank you know because there is a protection so you go and you have no worry you put your money there and you go home to sleep why because you entrusted them to do that for there is somebody is you know uh, uh, is watching there's government there's etc they cannot say we did not take your money so Allah, he entrusted the Jews and entrust here is about trusting the Jews to do what he trusted the Jews to do protection of what of his book. Here we have actually two questions. Why Allah don't want to protect the book himself and why he depend in a bunch of rabbis who they can be sinners men to protect the book. Go ahead. Are you there? Why are you questioning Allah about what he wants why to do? Why not? Because this is funny. Because this is, to, my friend, why I'm questioning, this is funny. You see how the Muslim, yeah, when, we do, when we put them in if the corner, they say, why are you are questioning, guys? Did, did you hear the answer? He why are you are questioning? Are you, are you, why I cannot question? I mean, this is silly. Talking? This is silly. Because if Allah, he gave the job to, to protect the book to the Jews, and the Jews are not good to protect the book, it's mean he is a part of the conspiracy to deceive us. That's mean he is the devil because he gave the book to protect it by the wrong one. So it is his fault, not my fault. We have the other guy trying to call. Hold on. <laughs> Hello. Hello, CP. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Finally, you call me. You know, you keep saying you want to talk to me. Okay, here we go. What do you want to say? Yeah, but I understand your point from the angle of being entrusted, which is uh, what is in the Quran. Mm. So what do you think? Yeah, I do believe that yeah, God actually entrusted them. Right. But when you are speaking, you speak from two angles. You, if you are speaking from God's perspective, mm. he is all-knowing and he decides as in when he wants to entrust something. That doesn't mean the human beings are not fallible. Mm. But what does that mean? So human beings, although he has entrusted us, because I believe that you read the scriptures, if you go into the scriptures, it says that my spirit will never strive with men again. Mm. So, so if he actually says that his spirit will never strive with men again, mm. and later on he comes back mm. and say that he's entrusting us with something, then he obviously knows that we are going to actually mess up. So mm. although the Torah has being inscribed at yeah god entrusted it yeah he entrusted it but i think people carried it through hmm. and then they messed it up hmm. okay but hold, hold on when allah he gave his own words job of protection the book 
this is not about yeah. he is a trust in them and they are not decent all of us we are sinners all a human being is a sinner right okay yeah. so when you put your trust in the sinner a sinner me corrupt I can you know me and me me and yeah. you I'm not mean you and as I say talk about me me I can be yeah. tempted by 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 money by women by anything correct okay so when you yeah. when you are God and you trust me to protect your book what kind of a decision Allah is making to trust a corrupt human being who is already kicked from heaven to protect his book if if the, if this man uh, is good like, enough if this man is a good enough he should be in heaven he should not be in earth so we are in earth because yeah. we are not a trustworthy we are kicked out of heaven yeah. because we are trustworthy. So how you can trust the one who should not trust to protect the book, which is the book of God? I think uh, you, you are right from what you're saying. But when we say God trust, he entrusts something. That means he is entrusting in his word because he cannot trust human beings because he's no, we know we are following him. So why beings. he trusted the human So he being? trusts his word. Hmm. Why he did? He trusts his word. And that word has been given to man through entrustment. So they entrust the men to pass on what have been entrusted to them. But okay. God can only trust in his word. He cannot trust in human beings. Okay, but he trusts them in something very extremely important, the message of God. So why Allah is saying, why Allah he wrote the Torah by his hand to Musa if the Jews are not going to keep it? Don't he knew that they will not keep it? So why he give it to them? Don't you know the future that they will not, they are not trustworthy, they will corrupt the Torah? So when you give them the job and you know that they will not keep the, the book, that means you are part of the conspiracy. You are giving them a hand actually to deceive people because if I, now, if 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 I am uh, uh, giving the job, you are the one who hire me. You see, I'm not, I do not hire myself. God himself hire me. Then people, they trust me because yeah. God hire me. Because I am presenting God and God himself, he said, okay, you, you Christian Prince, you will be the one who protect my book. Go ahead. And then the Muslim, they will speak to me or, or, or the believers will speak to me in authority because oh, God, he said to me, I am in trust. So now everybody will trust me in what I say to them. Then I corrupt the book. Then people, they are victims of my corruption. That's mean Allah is the part of this conspiracy. And he is the one who corrupt the people because he is the one who gave his trust to the wrong one who is a bad person so he will use the word of god so he can deceive others that's when allah is satan uh see if you understand where you are coming from but uh, i'm not saying i don't want to actually go away from the topic but i want to create this analogy for you to see if what you are saying is actually mm. kind of uh right mm. Let's say God, God is God and he is God and he knows what and how he wants to orchestrate things. Mm. Let's say, for instance, mm. he actually sent Jesus Christ to come mm. and die. Let's quote in quote, mm. die, because, mm. you know, Muslims don't actually believe in dying. Mm. Let's say he sent Jesus Christ to come and die for human beings. Okay. But didn't he know that when he died for human beings, mm. still people are going to reject him? Mm. So? Yeah, so he knows that. When just even though Jesus Christ in quote in quote died, mm. yeah, yeah, there are some people who claim to be Christians who just have forsaken God, they are sinning every how and then how they want, but yet God have actually sacrificed Jesus Christ. So the same way God actually entrust entrusted his son mm. to be crucified for Christians, mm. the same way he entrusted his word to the people that are supposed to guide it. Mm. And that doesn't mean the people cannot mess up with the whole concept yeah we understand that they are human beings and okay. guess as jesus christ called 12 disciples and we could only hear about four or five disciples writing books about what jesus christ did mm -hmm. it means that where are the rest mm -hmm. we didn't hear about them no we hear about so them. the no, same no, no, way no. we you can see, also friend, this is not true we hear about them and they are there because that the four they wrote about the 12 too and they wrote about the messiah in the same time same time you see here you have a problem you just said that uh, uh, four disciples of Jesus, they wrote four Bible, right? I'm not saying four disciples. I said all the disciples didn't actually no, read the no Bible. Problem, we didn't, no, some of no them, problem, we didn't no even problem, hear no of them. You're a prophet, we didn't hear said, about Nathaniel, okay, hold, hold on, hold on. You're we a, didn't hear about Philemon, prophet, did we? You're a prophet, he said. Take the Quran from four. Where are they, the four in the Quran? You said what? I'm asking you. Hello, Allah, Allah Prophet. 
You said, yeah. Take the Quran from four. Where yeah. are the Quran of those four? Yeah, obviously the take the Quran from the four. Obviously, he's not in this context. We are not speaking about the Injil. I, I no, hope no, you hold know on, that. Hold on, you see, well, I'm talking about the same logic you are talking to me. You said, okay, yeah. where is the rest? Here we go. Muhammad, he have many companions, but Muhammad, he chose only four out of all. So God, he chose whatever yeah. he wished to write. But here, that now we have a big problem with you. You are the one who mentioned this. Muhammad, he said, take yeah. the Quran from four, but the Quran you have today is not taken from those four. Yeah, yeah, that, that is what that is what I'm saying. That is what that, that is the point that I was actually trying to make. Mm. That although God Himself actually chooses things that He wants to do, when people come into contact with what God wants to do, mm. God, human beings actually that is why we've got free will. My friend, that is first all of we all, all got. If you, you haven't got guys, free will, uh, my friend, my then friend. there's no way anybody can corrupt God's message. My friend, did you just say that we have a free will? Oh, yeah. That yeah, I do believe we have a free will. Who said that to you? I I believe that we have a free will. No, no, no. Is that Islamic or this is your belief? Islamic wise, we are not meant to have free will, but I do believe we oh, have so free will. So you are a Muslim, but you don't believe in Muhammad teaching. It's it's not that I don't believe in Muhammad teaching. I believe some of the hadith have been tempered. Mm, some of the hadith they are here we go to, we go to the game of the hadith okay if islam is based on the hadith and in the quran and you are saying to me that the hadith is a corrupt that's me islam is corrupt because islam is not based no, on no, the no, quran no. okay CP, CP, are, are, can you CP, prove to me CP. can you prove to me that islam is based only on the quran CP, oh. CP. <laughs> no, don't say i say that the is uh, the quran is actually corrupted that is not what I'm actually saying mm. because in a way, if 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 you if I can make an example to you where in the Bible where the, Jesus Christ was supposed to feed a certain number of people, mm. and then that same number was actually tri triple that number. Mm. So that doesn't mean it's a corruption, it means that people have actually tempered with the number due to writing. No, so no, when no, I said friend, that, no, no, my friend, my friend, hold on. Been, you see, you are mixing things up. If first of all, what you're saying is not true, secondly. You are mixing between what we what we we just said about the, the hadith. You are the one who said to me that I, me, you, which means you, you believe in a free yeah. will. But Muhammad, he believed that there's no free will. So now we have a yeah. problem. Are you a follower of Muhammad or are you a follower of someone else? No, no, I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe the fact that we 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 following Allah we have to follow Muhammad because Muhammad is actually giving us some instructions from Allah okay so do you have to follow Muhammad and Allah or only Allah we have to follow Allah Muhammad Muhammad is just a messenger a messenger who is delivering from okay God. so, how so you we don't have to me? follow Muhammad okay no problem my friend you know I by the way I like to talk to you at least you, are, you don't shout and you don't use a bad language I like that you are a respectful man you are, you are welcome always to call me and you sound a smart man read with me please the Quran says, Allah, Rasul. Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. Yeah. All right. All over the Quran. Allah, yeah. You see the verses I'm showing you on the screen? All those verses saying, you have to obey Allah and you have to obey the Rasul. All right. Yeah. Now, we never send the Messenger except to be obeyed. وَمَنْ يَطِعَ الرَّسُولَ فَقَدْ أَطَاعَ اللَّهِ Chapter 5. Chapter 4, verse number 80. Read with me, please. Whoever obey the messenger, he obey Allah. Your prophet, he is God. Because you do not need to obey Allah first, you need to obey the messenger first. Whoever obey Muhammad, he obey Allah. Now, if you Muslims, you claim that Muhammad is a human being and he commits sin, and even the Quran confirmed that Muhammad is a sinner. How such a command given from Allah that to obey someone, he might commit sin. And by obeying him, you are uh, obeying Allah. Yeah, uh, th th I think I think uh, I think some some of us have actually got things a bit screwed because it's like if if we are to obey Muhammad, it's not that we are obeying Muhammad as a human being. We are obeying the message that has been passed through him. My friend, because my friend, that's not, that's not that's not true. That's not true. Obey Muhammad. If 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 what if what meant here. 
obey the Quran then obey the Quran whatever Quran says he didn't say that he says obey the man his name is Muhammad not obey Allah words so when he say obey the messenger you are talking about him as a man whatever he say you obey him so please don't then don't don't play with the games I respect you and you know I, yeah, I'm assuming yeah, that you are yeah. you are being decent with me so it does it yeah. says it clearly obey the messenger who over whoever obey the messenger who obey Allah so by obeying Muhammad otherwise we can just just say in the whole Quran obey Allah and that's it correct but it doesn't say that it says whoever obey Muhammad he obey Allah so even Muhammad here him he put himself first before Allah because if Allah is the one is talking here there's no way he will put Muhammad first and he will put him second so whoever obey Muhammad he obey Allah and that means Muhammad became your God let us make it simple if I obey Muhammad uh, I obey see, Allah see. but if I obey, obey Allah I do not obey Muhammad because here the verse saying that uh, clearly if I obey Allah I don't obey Muhammad but if I obey Muhammad I obey Allah uh, CP, I, I think I think I understand what you're saying but if you if you are to take the analogy on a different aspect to you see that that analogy you are making doesn't hold let's say for instance mm. if I go to school Mm. and then i have a headmaster mm. and under the headmaster we have got a teachers mm. and then the headmaster have given the instruction to the teachers and the teachers are carrying the instruction to us i obey the teacher mm. through as well as obeying the headmaster yeah but you don't put yourself first you see when i say whoever obey muhammad yeah, when, no, no, when, no, no no my when, friend my when, friend okay CP. let us let us switch it let us switch it by obeying muhammad i obey allah but by obeying allah i'm not obeying muhammad is that correct that's correct okay so here now what is became more important to obey is obeying Muhammad and by obeying Muhammad necessarily or obeying Allah but if you obey Allah necessarily or not obeying Muhammad so who is your God Muhammad I wouldn't say Muhammad is, is, is God because well, this what it says, it's, my it's, friend this is what it says because because here we go let, let me ask you does Muhammad made bad bad decisions did he make mad this is bad this oh yeah I do okay. I do believe okay so if Muhammad make bad this is that and even the Quran confirmed that he is a sinner big time so how we obey Muhammad and you are saying to me obey Muhammad like obey the message of Muhammad correct but as, as you see yeah. you know the, the Quran says whatever Muhammad he says to you you take for khudu, you know whatever he gave to you take it you don't even question it so whatever Muhammad he says to you take it Whatever he forbid you, you forbid it. So Muhammad now it became a person who is God. Whatever he says to you, you take it. Whatever he refuses, you refuse it. So he is the one who forbid. He is the one who confirmed. He is the one who allowed. And now he saying, which is very dangerous. Whoever of you want to be obedience to me, you have to be obedience to Muhammad. And you agreed with me that be obedience to Allah it will not be obedience to Muhammad and this is why I believe that Muslims are mushrikeen because Muhammad he put his name and he associate the name of him with the name of Allah even in the Shahada and this and the top of that he associate his name in the obedience in the top of that he associate the name of Allah with the knowledge Allah and his prophet knows best so now what we have we have a we have a, 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 a two two head gods one his name is Muhammad one his name is Allah and even Muhammad name mean that Muhammad is God because it's been the praised one he changed his name from Qatham to the praised one so now we have the praised one and we have Allah we have to obey the praised one but not necessarily by obeying him we are obeying Allah but the Quran says that if you obey Muhammad you are obeying Allah but if you obey Allah you are not obeying Muhammad necessarily yeah I, I i understand i understand what you are saying but i think i think when i don't think that he meant that if you obey me is the same as obeying allah but if you obey the words that i speak to you then you obey allah because muhammad himself claims friend, that he's a my, sinner my so friend, why would we actually friend, have friend. to equate let, let, him let to you. allah let me ask you did, did the quran in chapter 59 verse number seven says Whatever the prophet he says to you, you take it. Whatever he uh, forbid you, you forbid it. Does it say that or no? I'm making yeah. things up. Okay. So yeah, what, it does say that. Okay. Whatever Muhammad he says to you, you take it. So now, whatever Muhammad says to you, why the Quran does not say whatever I say to you? Who is God here? 
why Muhammad suddenly became a man who decide what to take what not to take because if you know the Muslim they keep saying to us how you worship a man okay well here we go you are giving the decision of God to the hand of a man who is a person who can make errors he can make mistakes all of us we do make mistakes we are a human right so how in such a verse it yeah. says whatever the prophet he give you you take and whatever he forbid you you forbid so now what happened we we transform the power of Allah to the hand of Muhammad Muhammad he got like what they call it I don't know uh, like a, a note of attorney what they call it in English I'm not sure like when somebody he signed my right to you you know what I mean my friend yeah I signed my right yeah. to you and by signing that right you can sell my house you can sell my car correct okay so now what Allah is saying that whatever Allah messenger he gave you you take whatever he you know he denied to you 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 deny so and fear Allah from a strict punishment which means if you don't accept what Muhammad just said to you that he forbid and he accept and he forbid and he allowed and don't allowed if you don't do that then Allah messenger or Allah will, will punish you for doing that so Muhammad now became obviously equal to God and he became more important from God because it's not necessarily for me to obey Allah no more it but it's necessarily for me to obey Muhammad whatever he says to me is what going to happen it is not what Allah says to me as an example there's many things in the Quran Allah he says as example the muta then Muslim they say that Muhammad he forbid the muta but there's no verse forbidding the muta so what the Muslim they do they accept what Muhammad said over what Allah said so who is more important Muhammad Muhammad is the one now he, he was assigned to create law to forbid and not to forbid to allow and not to allow Allah he says something who care Muhammad say the opposite we follow Muhammad we don't follow Allah are you there my friend hmm. yeah that's bad right very bad What we will do now? Uh, mm. I don't know because it's like <laughs> with me. I I think I think that I I think that I think that we we are actually uh I, I don't believe we, we are worship Muhammad because he, he cannot see, be I'm not talking about you, my friend. My friend, you see, you sound a nice guy. I really I respect you. I'm not. It's not talking about me and you. We are not in the story here. We are talking about yeah. scriptures who they are teaching something very wrong. Because if we, if you Muslim, you keep saying that we believe in Allah, one God, and only Muhammad is his slave. But then we check the reference, we find that Muhammad is the God and Allah is his slave. Because as you see, Allah here is exist to serve, just to serve Muhammad. Muhammad, he assigned the power of Allah to his hand. So whatever he want, he make. Whatever he forbid, he forbid. Whatever he accept, he accept. And Allah is just a name to use. So obviously, Allah is not the God of Muhammad. It is Muhammad who is the God of Allah. Allah is just a name he used to to gain his power over you. He used his name to make you okay. You have to obey me. Here we go. Allah says that. How I can convince you that you have to take from me by making a verse saying, okay, Allah. He says, well, all right. You know, Muhammad, Muhammad. And look, do you notice here how, how this verse is about what? Do you know what this verse is about? Muhammad he made this verse specifically, no, specifically because of because of money because of money so Muhammad he wanted to take the best of the money from the booty from the spoil so they attack the neighbors they steal their money and now the the Muslims are fighting over it so Muhammad he want to take the best of the booty so he he need authority so what I do here we go. I make a verse says Allah says to me whatever I say to you you do whatever I say to you not to do you don't do So now the money the religion the God the the marriage the sex the inheritance everything is in the hand of Muhammad I say You obey Allah say so it's not important. I say so Allah say do muta. I say don't do muta now which one we follow? We follow Muhammad. So here we have a clear evidence that Muhammad, he 
assigned himself to be God on earth using a name of a God he never met he never spoke to just to deceive us to make us believe that he is just a servant of God so are you are you are, from what you are saying are you trying to say that uh I, I think I have some some kind of uh questions that I do ask myself about the Quran because if you actually read you find out that if if Uthman was the one that actually compiled the Quranic verses together then probably it might be that someone also might have also tempered with the hadith as well as well as the Quran okay my friend but we are not even using the hadith now we are using the Quran so now the Quran if you are saying to me you suspect the Quran to be a, a, a corrupt book that's mean the whole religion of Islam is a joke because if the Quran is corrupt and then the Quran says inna alayna jam'uhu wa Quranahu. who is the one making a promise here Allah he says I am going I promise you that I am the one is going to collect the Quran and I am the one who will recite the Quran okay and then we find that the one who correct the Quran is Uthman as you said and this is have nothing to do with the Quran of Muhammad as you are now trying to say to me so inna alayna jam'uhu wa Quranahu it is on us to collect the Quran and it is on us to recite the Quran but Muhammad, he never recite. Allah did never recite the Quran, and Allah never collect the Quran, because Allah never spoke to Muhammad anyway. So this is a false verse, and this is why we find the problem here. Actually, even the Muslims they don't have the book of Uthman. They say the Quran of Uthman. What is the Quran of Uthman? There is no such a thing. They have recitation according to, according to, according to, according to, according to, according to. They claimed Uthman book. They are not sure. So now we have here a God who promised that he is the one who will collect the Quran. And then we find that the one who collect the Quran, it was an idea of Uthman and Allah was not there. Otherwise, why he's making a promise, it is for us to collect it and to recite it. Okay, so back to the back to the question again. So mm. I, uh, you mean that uh, God didn't actually kind of uh, protected his book like he said? Obviously, he did not. I mean, <laughs> you see, when uh, if I ask you now, you as a Muslim, you believe that there is a punishment for stoning to death, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay, where we can find this verse? Uh, I have to actually find for you. Oh, I found it. I found it. You know. Okay. I wish I can open my camera for you. I have a neighbor here. He have a goat. The hadith says. <laughs> I'm, I'm not making fun of you. Seriously. Sorry. I don't mean to be rude. <laughs> the Quran say. The hadith says. Aisha, she said, and this is a Sahih hadith, that while we were busy with the prophet death, let me read for you. I don't know if you can see my screen. You can see it. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. Aisha she said, the verse of a stoning and the, of a breast feeding for adult ten. I mean, this is one of the weirdest things Muhammad he came with, teaching Muslims that Muslim women she have to give her boobs ten times to a strange man, and that supposedly would stop him from thinking about her in a sexual way. As I know, men they will go crazy for that, and they will not stop thinking sexually. So this is one of the madness of Muhammad. And then he says. So the verse of Estonian and Brazilian uh, uh, for an adult 10 or 10 time was revealed and the paper was under my with me under my pillow when the messenger of Allah died we were preoccupied with his death a tam sheep came and ate it and now we are looking for yeah, this I until now, if you go to the Saudi Arabia website, government website, they have a big reward for the one who can find this goat because here we go, the verse is gone. Uh, that, that's what I'm saying that, uh, they ha that the hadith sometimes is, is a bit funny because it's like in okay. this verse, for instance, we don't have it in the Quran. It's only in the hadith my, my that friend, you see friend, those recitations. No, my friend, so, no, my friend, hold on, hold on. If the hadith is funny, then you have to tell me where you got the stoning to death from. 
I mean, you are practicing what? Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. CP, you understand that hmm. the Quran, the Quran as in uh, words that was actually given to Muhammad through hmm. recitation, hmm. then he has to actually explain it through the hadith. Hmm. So some of the things that hadith actually explain, they are not in the Quran. Yeah, but this is a says a verse. And my some friend. of the things that you want to understand in the Quran, you go into the hadith. My friend, no problem. To here, understand. Here, so but, but let's here. say, for instance, you've this got is not about this, explanation. Hold my you've friend. You've got this uh, narration from the hadith. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. It says here the verse okay. of stoning. The verse. This is not explanation. The verse of stoning. Yeah. It was a verse of stoning, and the verses of yeah. a breastfeeding for adult ten time was revealed. Was revealed. So it is a verse in the Quran where we yeah. can't find this verse. It's gone. Yeah, but uh, yeah, CP, I understand what you're saying because when it says that when the words were revealed, remember all these uh, kind of verses was actually revealed to Muhammad, peace upon him. Mm. But it was later on that it was got compiled because if you read the history very well, you see that even when they were at war at Yamama, they said some of the people that actually memorized the Quran were getting killed. Mm. But this is not the question, so, my friend. My friend, it, it could be possible that a no. lot of things in the Quran didn't get captured okay. in the okay. In the let, whole let, us book. Say, let us say that the verse about stoning to death ate him by the goat. What about the rest of the Muslims? The Muslims, the goat ate the Muslims too. If this is a verse, Allah he revealed to no, Muhammad. No, 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 actually, yeah, if, if yeah, the verse this, revealed this to Muhammad, and Muhammad Aisha, right? and no problem, but no if one can okay. Actually so, what is the verse of stoning to death? Give it to me, I want to hear it. Allah, He sent the verse to yeah, Muhammad. The goat, the goat that. ate the verse. The goat ate the verse. Did not eat the Muslims. So where is the Muslims who recite for us the verses of a breast feeding for adult ten time, and the goat, the the verse about stoning to death? I got it. That the goat ate the verse. No yeah. problem. But what about the Muslims? What about Aisha? What about Abu Bakr? What about Omar? What about the rest of them? The goat ate. Uh, the goat did not eat Omar. The goat did not eat Abu Bakr. The goat did not eat the Muslims. The goat ate a paper. Where is the verse? As long as they knew that there's a verse, that's mean they heard that Aisha saying that. That's mean everybody and the Muslim they were practicing that. When you practice a punishment, capital punishment like stoning to death, which is very harmful, very, very, very scary. And then you say to me, I cannot even remember the verse. That's scary because so you are practicing what? Based on what? Each time, yeah, uh, uh, CP, mm. CP, I hope you understand that when uh, Uthman was actually compiling the Quran, mm. obviously, let's say this this verse that Asha claimed that uh, the goat has to actually chew those verses. Mm. We understand that, okay, if he mm. chewed and Uthman was compiling, and at that time they didn't actually put the verse in the Quran mm. and it has already been compiled, then you understand that. The verse that didn't get into the Quran find themselves in the hadith. No, my friend, it says here that it was in a paper under my pillow. That is a Quran. You see, there's yeah. verses. No, 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 no. There's uh, verses already written in a paper. No, no, no. See, see, mm. see, 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 see. Mm. The paper, we could we 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 know that the Quran, when the verses was getting re re reviewed, mm. some of them were written on bones, some of mm. them were written on leather, some of them. So this paper is not a Quran. This is a normal paper that the actual verse was written on. So uh -huh. if you got chewed, that doesn't mean so the it is under the on. Quran. So this is under the pillow of Muhammad, and this is not a Quran. Muhammad, guys, he have a verse, verses written under his pillow in his bed, but this is not Quran. This was a newspaper. It's under the pillow of Muhammad, not the pillow of Abu Bakr. If what is in the room of Muhammad of Quran is not a Quran, then Quran can be found where in the in the in the bedroom of Abu Bakr. This is Muhammad. This is the pillow of Muhammad. This is the bed of Muhammad. This is Aisha, his wife. When she say my pillow, she said she is saying my bed and the bed of the Prophet. She doesn't see different bed. So my pillow is the bed is the pillow of Muhammad. Under his bed, there is Quran. And the goat get in. She ate the verses. Same time, my friend. Uh, CP, I, I, I want you to explain to your audience to know that when we are saying the Quran, we don't mean the whole compiled book. Hmm. It's it's a verse. It's a verse that have been chewed. No by problem. No the, problem, my friend. Not, this is not the goat. question. I'm not talking about the book. There's no book. Actually, the Quran is never was a book and will never be a book and does not exist until now. And we can prove it easy. You see. <laughs> When when you when you when you go and try to find the, the Quran, uh, you will find there's a collection of stories that have nothing to do with each other. 
if I try to find now the story of Abraham, I will find the story of Abraham in more than 230 verses in the Quran, and they are scattered all over. I mean, what kind of a book this book is? How I can learn about Abraham? 230 verse, and there's no connection. So there's no Quran, there's no book, there's nothing. Muhammad, he was saying things, and let me show you who is the one who made the Quran. Do you know who is the one who made the Quran? Do you know that the Quran written by a Christian? Do you know that? No, no, no. I, I, I've read that history before, where an information was actually sorted from. I think is it, uh, is it Khadijah's? I think something, something about. I've read that, but I don't think it was written by a Christian. Mm. Okay, let's see. Read with me, please. The prophet used to copy the people of the scriptures in matters in which there was no order from Allah. Sahih al-Bukhari. Mm, the prophet used to copy. Mm. How do you do that? If the Christians are corrupt, if the Christians are uh, are sinners, if the Christians are bad, if the Christian their book is go is is gone, and then I copy from them what is in their book. I mean, what kind of a scam the scam is? I say to you that okay, don't should should we follow the book of the Christian? You say no, okay. So how we can copy from the Christians what I don't have in my book? Why Allah don't give him what is in the book of the Christian, the correct one? Allah have time to send Muhammad a verse about his testicles. Allah have time to send Muhammad a verse about his penis a guy he accused him that his penis is not functioning Allah right away He sent him a verse Allah have time to send him a verse about any woman She want to give herself take off her pantry to the Prophet Allah have time to send him a verse says obey the Prophet obey him Whatever he says to you especially when it's come to sex and money But Allah have no time to give him a verses which in a matter which he cannot find an answer for it So what he do he copy from the Christians Hmm, that's that's a bit confusing because apparently Muhammad couldn't read and write, is it? I, I don't so believe in that. I don't believe in that. This is the story about he cannot be, uh, read and write. I, I believe this is a joke. This is not true. But this is not the question now. Obviously, in front of us, uh, you know, uh, Muhammad, he have no idea what's happening. He have to find an answer. And what he do, he is copying from the Christians. If the Christians, if you keep saying to the people that the Christians are the worst creature, the Christians, they lost the covenant with God. The Christians, etc. Blah blah blah. And then we find that everything Muhammad he have, which is not in the Quran, he got it and he copied from the Christian books. And Abu Bakr was the one that narrated that. Well, this is narrated by Ibn Abbas, and this is Sahih Bukhari. Hadith number 5917. As you see, I'm showing the reference in the screen. Hmm, the problem copied. I think my problem is the copy because it's like copy paste. To yeah. my knowledge, he couldn't read and write. No, he can, he can. So, you know, this is this is a lie, you know. Uh, 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 the, the statement that uh, uh, that he do not know how to write, how to read, you know, the Muslims are disconnected. With with their uh, with their uh, uh, you know is that is that have you got a proof that he could read and write? Sure, this is very easy. This is very easy. The Quran proving that to us. You see, did you ask yourself why the Quran called the Christian and the Jews people of the book? Because simply we have a book. Yeah, because they were they, they were the ones that had the Torah and the Jews. Yes, it? because you don't have a book. You never have a book. Not before, not after. Secondly, the Quran when you speak about the Ummi. The word ummi, that's what the Muslims they use to speak about illiterate. The word ummi is about not knowing the book of God. It's not about not knowing how to read, how to write, how to read. So women whom ummi yun. Okay, what ummi yun mean? Read with me. And uh, and there are among them illiterate who know not the book. So who are they the illiterate? Is the one who do not know the book. The Quran says that clearly, you know, in many verses, not only one, but the Muslims are copy paste nation. I cannot find one Muslim. You know, I'm surprised actually you are a Muslim because you sound like you sound like a smart person. I mean, how a smart person like you will stay in his time in a second? 
where they got that Muhammad cannot read and write just because it says on me Muhammad is trying to copy the Jews the Jews they call the one who do not know the book on me yin which means from the nation Gentiles go my this is what Ummi mean Ummi is anyone is not from the nation of Israel because he's worshiping the wrong God so Muhammad here is copying the Jews saying that he is from the Ummiyin who are not from the Jews who are not from the people of the scriptures for the whole world worship the wrong God and those are the only one they are called the people of the book because they are the only one worshiping the true God as simple as that this has nothing to do with writing or reading do you think all the Christian knows how to write how to read it's impossible especially at that time so all of them they are called people of the book and anyone who do not know have a book it's called illiterate and this is all over the Quran Muslims they have no idea what the Quran is talking about chapter 3 verse number 20 read with me so if the dispute with thee say I have surrendered not submitted my whole self to Allah and those who follow me say to the people of the book and those who they are and learned this is the same word ummiyin and learned so you see the Quran divide the people to two kinds of people people who they are learned and people who they are unlearned illiterate the one is unlearned is the one who they are not from the people of the book so the one who is learned is the one is learned about God it's not about writing or reading what do you think mm. Muhammad in his deathbed he said to his followers bring me papers to our right for you a book which you will not go misguided after me is it in the hadith yes or in the Quran yes this is a Sahih hadith Sahih al-Bukhari read with me Muhammad he said Ibn Abbas said when the Messenger of Allah was in his deathbed there were some men in the house he said come near I will write for you something after which you will not go astray some of them he said some of them said i.e the companions said Allah messenger is seriously ill and you have the holy Quran which means here very weird why Muhammad saying I will write something for you if he gave them the Quran already this is this is crazy Allah books is sufficient for us so the people in the house differed which means they are fighting and start disputing some of them said give him give him writing material so he might write for you something after you which will not go astray okay how you want to give him writing material if he cannot write and why he's asking for writing material or of all what he need to say is just to recite so obviously here they did not say to him come on you cannot write what do you mean to give you writing material they did not say to him okay tell us what you want to say we will write for you they said give him writing material and here you notice that Muhammad obviously is not even sure of what his message because how you say I will write for you a book now before you die which you will not go astray so what the Quran for and this is what the Muslim they said to him so if this is if you will write for us a book now which you will not go astray so what the Quran is for and this is a Sahih book this is Sahih mm. Bukhari Hayat number 4432 so my friend you sound a smart person and you don't call you don't fit to be in this garbage sorry to say so I mean you are smarter than this Muhammad is the God Muhammad let me ask you a question when Muhammad he said in the Quran that any Muslim woman she can give herself to the Prophet so he can effer what that have to do with Islam what that will do to God yeah, I think that that part also. I think maybe someone actually uh, kind of maybe uh, cooked up that story because you see, uh, a prophet of God. a prophet of God can never stand in the public or maybe anything and say such things like that. Like no, my friend, here, there yeah, are certain yeah. things in the hadith. I find it this difficult. Is hadith. To believe, this is Quran. Honest. This is Quran. You know, the, uh, Muhammad he made the Quran says any believing woman she can give herself to the prophet. What that will do to Islam? What does this have to do with the message of a prophet of God who sent down to earth to save us? Why he need a verse from his God says any woman she want to sleep with the prophet she is welcome. I mean the man is not even single. 
if Muhammad is like Christian Prince, he's single, he you know he needs a wife. Okay, a God is trying to help him. Maybe a Christian woman she will marry him because maybe he's ugly. But now Muhammad, who have 13 wives, he have hundreds of concubines for sex, and yet he make a verses saying, Any woman she want to give herself to the prophet so he can F her. What does this have to do with God? Muhammad again taking advantage of him being a, a god on earth, fabricating verses, saying, Any women want to sleep with me? We will come, come over, come over. I mean, what does this, what this have to do with God? What that will benefit God? Muhammad, he slept with women. What for? Is he single? No. Is he out of women? No. He has tons of them. So when I make a verse, it's about my sexuality, it's about my benefit, it's about my money, it's about my pocket, it's about me, and then I became me, became God. I put my name next to the Allah in the in the Shahada. I put my name next to Allah in the obedience. Actually, I put my name before Allah name in the obedience. And then I put my name next to Allah in the in, in the if knowing. You see, when if somebody right now call me and I say to him, What do you what do you know about this? And then he said to me. Uh, Christian Prince and Jesus knows best. I mean, that is a big insulting to me and insult to my Lord because why you compare me to my knowledge to the knowledge of God? This is an insult. I should reject right that way. I would say to him, Shut up, don't say that. I'm no one. What do you mean? What do you mean you and Jesus know better? You don't say that. So when Muhammad he says, when, when Muhammad always he talk. And the Muslims, they say to him, Allah and his messengers knows best. Why Muhammad did not reject such a teaching saying to them, shame on you, don't say that. What do you mean Allah and Apostle knows best? You associate the knowledge of God with the knowledge of a man? Muhammad, actually, he like it. Each time he says, do you know where? Do you know how? The Muslim, they say, Allah and his Apostle knows best. And Muhammad never complained. And look what he's saying. I mean, what even what he's saying is stupid. Once I was with the prophet and in the mosque at the time of the sunset, I asked Abu Dhar. Abu Dhar is one of the companions of Muhammad who was very well known in Islam. Do you know where the sun set? He replied, I replied, the, the narrator, I replied, Allah and his and apostle knows best. He said, which means Muhammad, it goes and prostrate itself under the knee underneath Allah throne. And that is Allah's statement that the sun runs into a fixed course. So Muhammad and the Quran teach that the sun every day goes to a course and sit under the throne of Allah. Isn't it this is alone enough to prove to us that Islam is a false religion? Mm. You as a smart person, you want to convince me that you are not convinced yet that this is a cult? Be honest with yourself. I think, I think I, I, one thing that I'm finding it difficult is if, if we come to an agreement that Muhammad, at the time that he existed, the Quran hasn't been compiled, and it was after that he died that the Quran just got compiled, then could that be a possibility that people actually uh, try to make my some friend, stories. My friend, just my to friend, meet does, up. It doesn't matter. That's that. That's mean that whatever you are following now is is a is a is is a mirage. It's not exist because here we go. You 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 are now saying to me the Quran obviously is corrupt because I showed you many reference and now the Hadith is corrupt. So you are following a corrupt religion. How you can find who is the real Muhammad then? Where we are going to find the real Muhammad, the one you want to follow? We cannot. The Muslim, they keep saying to us, your book is corrupt, your book corrupt, and then we find that they are the one who have no book, and they are the one who have no prophet, and they are the one who have no God, and they have no idea even what, what where the name Allah came in from. They have no idea what the Quran is about. They don't have no idea. They don't even have manuscript of the Quran. They keep accusing others of corruption when this religion is the religion of corruption. And there's no question needed for me i cannot judge islam by my imagination i have to judge islam by what we receive and what the muslim they say this is our religion what is our religion okay here we go quran and hadith 
and look each time I saw a Muslim a hadith he says to me I accept only from authentic resource okay I, we showed him authentic here we go this is Sahih Bukhari he say okay Al Bukhari is a human as if as if Muhammad is not a human they keep running forward trying yeah, to I've, escape I've, 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 I've... I've heard about those debates, but because a hadith is hadith, whether it's weak or strong, they are still in the same hadith. So, my friend, I, what I about the Quran? What about the Quran? I showed you the Quran is a shish kebab. Okay, what about the Quran says that the women she have a sperm coming from her ribs? I mean, have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? Scientifically, it's not accurate, but I think uh, that that's why I say that uh, maybe people might have actually. Put some words together just to make up the uh, so now the what Quran, we do each time I will show you something each time I will show you something from the Quran making Muhammad look stupid you will say to me okay maybe somebody inserted this verse so maybe the whole Quran is inserted and then you know as long as you agree that the Quran obviously full of corruption and crazy stuff then where is the Quran where is Muhammad where is Islam what is Islam because maybe everything there is a corruption too how the Quran says that nobody can corrupt the word of Allah and then the Quran itself full of garbage I ask you my friend you are smarter than this you are you sound like intelligent and I can tell from the way you are responding I can tell you are already convinced that this is a garbage you, you know you cannot belong there I advise you right now to denounce Islam I think I, ha I have to uh, come on, do some man. reading. Come more, on, you are the man for that. Come on, it's there. I, I can hear it in your tongue. I can hear it. You are you are saying it, but you are you, you know, like you, you are trying to resist. Like how what how how this how am I going to do that? But this is the truth. The truth will set you free, my friend. This is the truth. The truth that this is cannot be from God. Just be you know be be brave and say it. It's just that it's just it's, uh, to me to be honest it's difficult to defend the quran that that one i can actually because there are certain much. things that i read i don't see this is what you are saying it's difficult, it's difficult to defend the quran that's it this guy is out just say i am out of islam is difficult to defend the quran okay so it's difficult to defend the quran it's difficult to defend the hadith it's difficult to defend muhammad and unless we do terrorism so why you want to stay in this cult just say i am out of this cult Christian Prince. Say it. I'm out. I'm out. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I am really happy that I spoke to you today. You are you sound a very smart, intelligent man. And we are very happy for you that you accepted to leave the cult of Islam. This is the first step for freedom. Freedom from the devil. We've been we've been lied to we've been deceived we've been told a lie about a true prophet about true God but the fact it cannot be God this is nothing but the garbage there's no way God is going to be a pimp of the house he will promise us virgins and vagina and long penises and 70 years orgasm I'm so happy for you my friend that you decide to leave us now what do you want to say more do you feel better do you feel released <laughs> uh, I think I'll continue listening to your program and I'll, 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 I'll learn more and then see how well I'm happy for you my friend and before you go I invite you to accept the Lord the Messiah as your Savior for this is my this is what I do you know I like I like to see good one like you to be with the good Lord the Lord who don't speak about himself but, but do, do you believe that Jesus Christ actually existed sure absolutely otherwise why I'm a Christian <laughs> right I invite you the Christian stories I, I am I am invite you of, uh, I, I invite you my friend to accept the Messiah as your Savior and this is an opportunity it's up to you to take or to reject but you know time will come and you will be asked did someone his name is a Christian prince he asked you to accept the Messiah and you said no there's no better than him decency wisdom 
love, trustworthy. He is the best of the best. And I'm inviting you right now to accept the best of the best. So what do you do to accept him? Because it's like what do you do? You say we, we you, say, you say let us pray, let us, let, us, let us pray together and let us say, Can you give me a name of yours? I don't know your name until now, my friend. I'm Isaac. Isaac. Dear yeah. Lord, dear Lord, we pray that today you accept our brother Isaac, who he just left Islam. He decided to denounce the devil. He decided to denounce the corruption. He decided to denounce the pagan God of Islam. And he is willing now to open his heart for you and to accept you and to take you as his Lord, as his protector, the one who will provide him love with wisdom, to live in love and mercy with his family and his neighbors and his community, to love everybody, including the Muslims. For you said that God is love and love your enemy. My Lord, I pray for you that you accept that Isaac is going to be a child of God who will be obedient to you. He will be decent for you and he will read the gospel from all his heart and he will do his best to be your follower. And Isaac, I say to you, do you accept the Messiah as your savior? Uh, yes, I do. I mean to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, a happiness in the kingdom of God, a happiness today. For our brother here, his name is written there. His name is written there and he will have the eternal life, which is a promise by Jesus. Whoever die and believe in me, he will live. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, I am the beginning, I am the end. I am the light, I am the truth, I am the resurrection. That is Jesus, my Lord and your Lord, my friend Isaac. I'm so happy to have you. May the Lord bless you, and we are look at those people in the in the in the chat. There's one thousand people. They are they are really happy for you. Everybody is 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 really happy for you, and I know from my heart that tonight your night is going to be different, and your life will change, and you will feel that you are released from what you used to have in your life. Thank you, my friend. Okay, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for calling me. Feel free to call anytime. Okay, thank you. Take care. Take care. Hallelujah. God is good. God is good. <clears throat> Hello? Hmm. Look at this guy. This is what they can do. <laughs> yes, uh, Sheikh Talal. Did you decide to leave Islam too? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I see you got one. That's good. I I wish him good luck. Thank you. So, did you decide to leave Islam yourself? Uh, never. Okay. I was a truth. All right. So, what uh, do you what do you think about your prophet? He is copying from the Christian their scriptures. Uh, I would like to come back on all the conversation you had with well, him. You know, you, you have to be honest with me. In, in order to come back, you are a, a person playing games. Yes. I showed you the reference. I showed you the scholars. Now you need to tell okay, me exactly. why the scholars. No, they want to play games. You see, I'm not here to shout and lose my voice, my friend. Either you are being decent, you prove me wrong, or you are just you know here to argue. I showed you Ajala Lane. I showed you Ibn Kathir. I showed you all the scholars. All of them, they agree with me. They didn't agree with you. So what is the problem? You tell me. Okay, the problem is, hmm. you see how you saying, how you just said, hmm. they all said Muhammad is a Ummi, Ummi doesn't mean... This is not the topic we are talking about. You see, you said you want to go to the, uh, the previous topic, right? You said the previous, you said the previous topic, no, no, you said the previous topic. Now, you, why you jump, why you jump? The, the previous topic is about the Jews being entrusted by the rabbi, Allah, he entrusted the Jews to protect the book. Why the scholars do agree and disagree with you? Okay, uh, yeah. Man, you you gotta let me talk. You see, that, you that see, guy... I, I because I used to you. I know you. You will never give me an answer. You are the same as many Muslims who call that they, they was my time. So why the scholars who speak Arabic they get it wrong? I want to fix the lies for this guy. You fix I, what? You lie. 
let me fix the lies you the guy who you just revolted to think how i how i lied to him okay let me tell you how you lied to him mm. I, i i i hope he's listening of okay course, i'm sure he's said, listening okay okay you said obey by obeying muhammad you obey to allah does mean that we obeying we worshiping muhammad right mm. that's what you said right well yeah, is, that's mean you are obeying muhammad which i okay. let, let me repeat what i said my friend it's recorded what i said and yes. he agree with me that when you obey obey muhammad and obey allah whoever obey muhammad obey allah this is what the verse saying do you agree yes okay how you can be obeying allah by obeying muhammad what about obeying allah and that's enough for us why you have to obey whoever obey muhammad muhammad is a sinner man is muhammad okay. a sinner man or not Okay, just just finish. Is and Muhammad, I will answer you. Whoever obey Muhammad, he obey Allah. Okay, just let me answer to that. Mm. Right? Mm. The verse said, "Whoever obeys Muhammad obeys Allah." He was so smart enough to tell you about his teacher and his principle. Allah said, "Allah sent us a book." Allah mm. didn't send the book straight to us. Mm. Allah made the book go through Muhammad mm. as a wahi. Mm. Allah said. Hmm. If you obey him into that, hmm. know that you obey him because hmm. I am the one that revealed the book into him. Hmm. As simple as that. Now, okay. This is different. But this is mean. But this is mean. Obey, obey the Quran, obey Allah's words, and that's it. You do not need to obey as a sinner man. What it says here: Whoever obey Muhammad, the messenger, he obey Allah. It, it's not the opposite. Whoever obey Allah, obey Muhammad. So you, that's it's not. This, let me explain to you. When Muhammad he forbid the muta, and the Quran allow the muta, which one will you follow? I follow the Quran. Muhammad did not. So Muhammad. So you follow the muta. Not. So you follow the muta. The, uh, listen to me. The strongest oath in the whole book, in the Quran, Allah my did friend, it for Muhammad. Make, make my answer clear. Allah. Do you follow the muta? Do you practice muta? Uh, uh, listen to me, man. No, no. I, I want you an answer. Like you see, I'm not saying to you. You said I follow the Quran. I ask you a specific it, question. The Quran says are, you do muta. And Muhammad you says you don't do muta no more. Which one you follow? You said you follow the Quran. So I'm asking you, do you accept to do muta? Um, see, every time somebody start talking, you need to know that they're making a do point. Do you accept to do muta? Do you accept to do muta? Why you wouldn't want to say yes or no? Just say yes or no. As simple as that. It's very simple. Let, let me answer. Do you accept to it's, do muta? Go ahead. Yes or no? You gotta let me answer. Go ahead. Do you accept muta? Okay. The guy, li listen to me. I, I will get out. The devil is talking to me. He will not answer. He's ashamed to say yes. I do muta. What kind of a prophet he, uh, you know, teach you to do muta? When the Quran says, "Who obey Allah Messenger, obey Allah." And then we see Allah Messenger says, "Any woman and any man, they like to sleep together and have fun. Go ahead." Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, my friend. Go ahead. Please. Your voice is cutting. You said I can't hear you, my friend. Sorry, I have to hang up on you. I, I hear nothing. I understand nothing. Unblock everybody. Sorry. I hear nothing. What kind of a prophet he says any man any women they want to have sex they f to each other for three days three nights this is God hello are you there hello yes I hear you go ahead hello Yes, I hear you, my friend. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, I'm. Um, uh, okay, my friend, I want you to do something. Close all the applications you have in your phone. I don't know what you are doing. Can you close all the applications because your voice is very bad? I cannot, I cannot hear you. Oh, okay. I have to tell my daughter. To do. I'll call you back then. Give me a minute. Well, now it's better, actually. Now it's better. I know. Hello?
Look like we have more Muslims is calling. That's good. Maybe more Muslims will leave Islam today. Yes, my friend, you are calling me. How I can help you? Okay, that's wonderful. Quran. Here we go. The devil is upset. The devil, the devil is angry. I always make the devil go crazy. Hello? Yes, Ali, are you there? Can you hear me? I hear you now. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, I hear you. Hello? Sound good. Hello? I hear you. Go Can ahead. You oh, boy. Who is next? Who want to leave Islam today? Yes, Ali. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. It's perfect now. Yeah, this is a. Yeah. First, I just want to remind you if you can unblock me from my accounts, my both accounts are blocked. So I appreciate that if you my can. My friend, you are talking already. Come on. So Go I can ahead. call you when I'm even outside. Go ahead. So yeah, second. Yes, secondly. Um, I guess ignorance itself is a crime, really. Uh, I see some Muslims come along and really they're so ignorant. Okay, are you, are you an ignorant or not? I am not as ignorant, of course. Okay, no, let, I, me, let I, me ask I, you, as long as you are not ignorant, as long as you are not ignorant. No, I didn't say, I, I say I'm not as ignorant. That okay, you can, no problem, no problem. Pay, was, pay was, Muhammad, was Muhammad ignorant? Uh, he was a human being. He was not perfect. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, look at this. Whatever we say to them, he was a human being. So uh, no, no, but, you are complaining so, about a Muslim being ignorant. Ignorant yeah. about what? Ignorant about God. Ignorant about religion. Okay, and now okay, I'm asking me, you, was Muhammad ignorant or not? Let me rephrase then. He was extremely ignorant. Okay. Was Muhammad okay. extremely ignorant or not? Absolutely not. Okay. Not. How he say this then? Mm -hmm. How he say that if the, if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And the women have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. Read the hadith. It's in front of you. Okay. And this is Sahih. Sahih hadith. Mm. And he says the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, mm. the man's water is thick. Can you, uh, can you put the put it down? The uh, man's water is thick and white. Mm. And the woman's water is thin and yellow. Mm. So whoever of them comes first, mm. the child will resemble. Mm. So he's talking about the resemblance here. Okay, so is about? it true that if you if you come first, the baby will resemble you? And where did it says come first? It says there whoever has come first. What you are what, okay. you reading okay. with me? Sorry, sorry, you're right. You're right. So so prove it if it's wrong. Prove it. Here we go. I mean Basically, prove that this I mean, is wrong. This is a very clear sign of ignorance because whoever come first have nothing to do with this. Because okay. coming first okay. will not change anything. It's about you, you know, the man, you know, uh, the, there is a, something is called the DNA. And the woman, she have her DNA, and the man have a DNA. That the, the sperm go to the egg, and you know do uh, do uh, uh, like ignite, let us say, uh, fertilize the egg mm -hmm. and deliver the DNA, and then the sperm die, not exist no more, and then the mm -hmm. baby grow, carrying the father and the mother, have okay, so, nothing nothing to do with who come first. And by the way, so, this is talking about about male and female. I can prove it to you. This is about, we'll talk about this we'll is talk about, about male and female. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. Because your prophet, he made it clear, my friend. Your prophet, he cannot keep his. No, mouth no. Shut. Let's stay on this hadith. Don't, don't go anywhere else. But in order to show you that this is about male and female, then I have to show you other hadith. What's wrong with that? Clear enough. Okay. Okay. Because in a, you know, in order, in order to to uh, to be connected with the story, we have Fair to enough. understand what if Muhammad said. If it connects, I have no problem. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Here we go. This if is this is the hadith here in front of us. Mm -hmm. Do you know Arabic? Uh, I told you before I can read Arabic, which actually you That's thought I can't. Here we go. Okay. قال جئت أسألك عن الولد. قال ما الرجل أبيض وما المرأة مرأة أصفر. فإذا اجتمعا فعل مني الرجل مني المرأة أذكر. I don't know Arabic. I say I don't know Arabic. I okay. No problem. I'm showing in Arabic for those who speak Arabic, and I will show it in English. فإذا على من مني الرجل مني المرأة أذكر بإذن الله بكم ميل. وإذا على مني المرأة مني الرجل أنثى بإذن الله. It is a female by the will of Allah. So this is a this is Sahih the Sahih Muslim. Mm -hmm. Hadith number three fifteen. Mm -hmm. Your prophet saying it clearly that if the man have orgasm first, and look what the Muslims here they do try to fix with it with respect. With respect, can you read it? Uh, friend, English. Can you put the English in front okay, so we so can we can see? Here we go. This is the English of in front of you. Yes. Yeah. Now t tell me which line you are. You have a. Here we go. With. The Muslim here they try to fabricate. Look what they put. I.e. ovum central bat, uh, batterion 
you know, this is not exist in the Quran. A chromosome, suddenly Muhammad talking about the chromosome, chromosome is speaking about whoever come first. So right. if he, if the man, or water come first, the male, the child will be a male. If the women I, have orgasm first, the baby will be a female. You are you are you are reading in the middle. I want you to read all of it in English so I can understand. You're reading from my friend here. Bits okay, no and problem. pieces, and that's see, not it's fair. Long, it's very long. It's very long. I have nothing to do with our topic. Okay. But anyway, a Jew, right. a Jew he came to Muhammad and he said to him, "I will ask you three questions, which nobody knows, save uh, a messenger of God." I know that hadith. Okay. I know the hadith. So yeah. here we go at the end. As long as you know, that's wonderful. Muhammad he came to the conclusion he said to them that Jibreel told me Jibreel told me now just Jibreel now told me so we cannot claim that Muhammad is here is the ignorant because he just said Jibreel just told me right now okay what Jibreel mm -hmm. told you Muhammad he, he yeah. told me that if a man his, his he have orgasm first the baby will be a boy if the women have orgasm first the baby will be a girl uh, can you read that line I, I'm sorry I here we go we, okay here we go. Okay. This is a Muslim okay. translation, not my translation. Yeah, we'll just read that bit. It is the male child that is created by Allah. We ask you about uh, that, that child. He, the Holy Messenger, said, the reproductive substance of the man is white. So what is the what he's talking about? It's the white. What is that? It is the sperm, right? You agree? I have come to ask you about the child. Mm. He said the reproduction substance of man is white. Is white. Okay. Yes. And the women and that is women, yellow. Yellow. So this okay. is the water of the vagina. When mm -hmm. they and when they have sexual intercourse, and the male doesn't say substance, the male water come first. Here mm -hmm. the Muslim try to, to to fabricate the translation. The males, males prevail. Chromosome. Upon... Chromosome. <laughs> no, no, we, we are okay. not reading something in the brackets. No, let's, problem. Okay. Let's, reveals let's, let's upon, not read the brackets. Pre 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 reveal upon the female substance. It yeah. doesn't say that. It says come first, the same as we showed you in the other hadith. The, mm -hmm. the substance of the uh, is going to be a male child. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a child. If it is, if it is a woman, the baby will be a female child. As you okay. see, okay. okay. So this is explain the your other... problem is okay. The problem, problem is that's stupid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's stupid is your problem. Fine, but why is stupid? Because they are all people in the world. You see, here this is not about a miracle, this is about reproduction. You see, I understand that God can't be talking about this is a miracle. Nobody's no, no, talking okay. About so so Muhammad now he, Muhammad he explained to us how the reproduction happened, and he claimed that no. Jibreel told him, Okay, Jibreel mm -hmm. told him. That if the man have orgasm first, the baby child will be a boy. If the women have orgasm first, the baby child will be a girl. We got that. Okay. So you think that's a lie? Absolutely. Okay, prove it. Here we go again. I mean, you can go and go go into. No, prove seconds. it. Prove it. Your source that my, this is a lie. My friend, don't waste my time. That's it. People are laughing at you. People, are you laughing at him? Why I need to prove such a thing? It's in the front of you. Go and search in Google two seconds. What proof it? I mean, this is stupid even to challenge. Hello? I hope your mother dies of cancer. I fuck your mom on ass. Okay, what else? <laughs> Islam. Welcome to Islam. The Muslims are praying for my death day and night, and they could not, you see. There is a there's a Muslim guy. He opened a big chat room in Paltok. He have like hundreds of people, and he starts saying, "Allahu Akbar, may Allah kill Christian prince, may Allah destroy Christian prince, may Allah make a car go over Christian prince, may Allah make the train hit the car of a Christian prince." Twenty four hours after I heard that this guy he have a heart attack and he is dead. You remind me of your prophet. You're a prophet in the Quran. He said. If I'm if Muhammad is lying, Muhammad he fabricated a verse saying because people they accuse him to be a fabricator, he's a liar. So he said, Don't call me, Sheikh. You are a kid, you know. I don't have time for kids. Let your dad call me. Let the man of the house, your mom, not your dad. Let the man of the house call. Muhammad he made a verse in the Quran saying. That if I am lying, Allah said, Allah said, not him. I mean, don't play Muhammad. Allah said, if ah, if Muhammad is lying, read with me. This is the messenger sent down from the Lord of the world. And if the messenger were to invent any saying in our name, if he invented anything 
saying in our name, which means Quran. We should certainly size him from his right hand, and we should certainly cut off his artery. And guess what? Muhammad died exactly as he claimed. Will happen to him if he is fabricator. We go in the hadith, we find the following. Try not to laugh. This is Sahih al Bukhari. This is not Da'if. So you play the game of Da'if and strong. The Prophet, in his element which he died, he used to say, O oh, Aisha, I feel the pain caused by the food I ate at Khaybar. And at this time, I feel if my orta is being cut off. From that poison so even even the Quran even the Quran proving that Muhammad was a false man he's a fabricator Can you have Yes, Bakri, why you are you calling me? Are you there? Hello. Yes, are you Hello. there? So how are you? I'm very good. As you see, Muslims are leaving Islam left and right. So, how about you? Muslims are, li are leaving Islam, Sorry? according to you. Sorry. Hello. You said Muslims are leaving uh, Islam, according to you. Well, according to is obvious, according to your prophet, your prophet, he said, Hold on, hold on, hold on, Europe hold on, hold on. Did your prophet he said that Islam is start as a strange and will end as a strange small? Did he say that or he's lying? You said that, okay. So, uh, your prophet said, saying that we people will leave Islam. So, what's the problem now? Unless you want to accuse your, unless you want to accuse your prophet, unless you want to accuse your prophet that you're you know, he's a liar. So, what I can do, I mean, I don't know what to do with you. Strange, I would and end, and end as a strange. Did, did your prophet? You did, your, did, you, did your prophet leave Islam? Did your prophet leave Come Islam? Again? Did your prophet leave Islam? No, he didn't leave. Uh, left Islam. Well, accor according to the Hadith, Muhammad he is he left Islam because Muhammad he tried to commit suicide. Correct. I know, no, that's wrong. What do you mean wrong? I like to, I according, like to, according to your prophet, the one who the one who tried to kill himself, it's me. the I'm, one who do kill himself, or commit suicide, the one who commits suicide, Allah, Allah will send him to hellfire. You're a prophet. He tried to commit suicide many times. Can you explain to me what the problem of Muhammad? He was suffering from mental problem. He was possessed. He was what? Why he's trying to kill himself? Are you there? There is no any evidence to claim that. Well, this is no, 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 no. Don't tell me no evidence. This is, this is this is Sahih al Bukhari in the front of your eyes. Hold on. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Don't tell me there's no evidence. Don't tell me there's no evidence. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Hadith number. I am I allowed you to talk, but but I will not allow you to lie. You said there's no evidence. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Hadith number six nine eighty two, and this is the reference in the front of you. Read it. Are you there? Are you there? Hello? Are you there? Okay, I think next time you call me, you need to say inshallah. Hello? Hello. Hello, Christian Prince. Yes. Hello, is it? Uh, yes. Hi, Christian Prince. This is Yashwan India. My friend, your voice is cutting badly. Hello. What can, can I do? Yeah. Well, are you a Muslim? Uh, no, Christian Prince. I'm a Hindu. All right. How I can help you, my friend? I was just listening to the guy you were talking to. Hmm. 
he was not answering you about the, uh, you know, the man come first, the boys, it's a boy, woman come first, it's a girl. That's complete bullshit because we all know even if the female doesn't come, you know, it, uh, right. the, the baby is there. Like, it's just about uh, which chromosome the male transferred. If, if the male transfers X, X and y, yeah. then it's a girl. Yeah, and even, uh, even, and even, if it's even today, y, even today yeah. you can take the sperm of the man and you can do it in the laboratory. And simply, even in right. the laboratory, you can insert the sperm of the man, the, the cum of the man inside the woman's vagina, and she might get written it. What does it have to do, how to do, who will come first? This is stupid. Nothing, nothing. He didn't want to answer you, that's all. Yeah, but you know, I mean, prove it, prove it. You see, they go, the, the, the second you get them busted, they go in denial. He was accusing that people, they are ignorant, but his prophet is the biggest ignorant in the world. And yet yeah, he, claimed I, I that, directly... he claimed that God is the one teaching him. <laughs> exactly. All right. Let us so see this guy. The yeah. Thank you, my friend, mm -hmm. for calling. Thank you. Yes, Abu Bakri. Are you there? Don't open your camera for me. I'm not interested of your handsome face. Bakri, are you there? Do you hear me? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh boy. Any brave Muslim? Hello? Go to Luke 1927, you fucking hypocrite. Mm. What else you want to say? Anything else? That's all what you have? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I don't blame you. I mean, put yourself in, I mean, I don't know. If I put myself in your shoes, I will be in chaos. It's not easy, it's not easy. Yes, Bakery, do you hear me? Hello? Yes, do you hear me? Hello, Zibi. Okay, you say, okay. You say it's not Allah, true. You said, you said it's not a true, that Allah Messenger, he tried to commit suicide. The hadith is in front of you, what do you say? No, he didn't try to commit suicide. It's in front of you, my friend. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Don't talk like a kid. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Don't talk like a kid. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay. So the Hadith and the Quran verse that's... What this guy is talking about. My friend, this is Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih al Bukhari saying that the Prophet of Allah, the no, Prophet let, of let Allah. Hmm? You said Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is trying to commit suicide. Yeah. It's in the front of you. I'm showing, that you are talking I'm, about. I'm showing it in the screen. I'm, 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 I'm showing it in the screen. Excuse me. In, in the last Hajj of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My friend, don't tell me in the last Hajj, in the first Hajj. I don't care. The Hadith in the front of me. Stop playing games. Are you are you an honest man or not? Read the Hadith, my friend. Read the Hadith and tell me the story. Read the Hadith. This is not in the time of the Hajj. This is when Muhammad became a prophet in the beginning of his lifetime. He became a prophet. So why he is trying? Why he tried to commit suicide? Go ahead. During the last Hajj of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you confirmed the religion, the religion of Islam. I just get lost. I can't even find a mature person. Look, but look what we are talking about. What you talk about? I said to him, "Your prophet commit tried to commit suicide." He said to me, "No, he did not." I show him the hadith. He didn't read it. Don't call me. Don't call me. Let the man of the house call me. Your mom. I'm done with you. Let Khadija call me. Obviously, your prophet he have a mental issue. Because even if God is stopped sending me a revelation, that will not make me go and kill myself. Why you want to kill yourself? Obviously, Muhammad is suffering from mental illness, my friend. This is a man who is suffering from a bad problem.
you see it's confirmed all over Islam that Muhammad is suffering suffering from problems even Muhammad his sexual life was fake Muhammad was not having sex with his wives you can go and get my books the, the last the last two two of them six and Allah and you will see madness there but look at this just for a snack Muhammad he was having sex but nobody knows would what the Prophet continued for such and such period of time imagining that he had slept between two bracket had sexual relation with his wives but in fact he did not <laughs> even his sex was fake have you ever heard of a madness like this how we can trust this man that he is seeing an angel of God even this guy there's a, there's a movie is called the perfect host I don't know how many of you watch it go and watch it this is a story of Muhammad the perfect host is about a guy he sent letters to himself he literally he sent postcards letters for himself from a girlfriend but this girlfriend doesn't exist and then he imagined that people come to his room to his house and he's having dinner with them and he's having sex with the, with the women but they are not there he talked to them they talked to him anyone saw the movie let me try to find it for you this is a very good movie by the way because this is exactly what we are talking about let me search it <clears throat> Here we go. The perfect host. You can go and check this movie, and you will see this guy. He is look look like as an example in this picture here, he's taking selfie with people they are not there. But in his mind, they are there. He's taking selfie. You see, the, you see the picture here. He is taking selfie. In this picture here, he is dancing with the people, but they are not there. <laughs> that is Muhammad. The prophet he imagined himself having sexual intercourse with his wife, but the fact he did not. So he was having sex with who? I hope not with something not halal. Even the Muslim they say that the prophet he was bewitched. The prophet was bewitched what does that mean you Muslims you are following bewitched prophet a prophet but yet he is bewitched so who is going to heal the prophet who is bewitched he will go to Jesus If we say to Muslims you are following a bewitched prophet they will feel insulted but they have no problem to have such a thing in their books as you see in Sahih al-Bukhari there's a guy in the Arabic in Arabic he's saying to me you are going to go to Jahannam even Jahannam he stole from the Jew do you know what Jahannam where Muhammad he got the word Jahannam from the word Jahannam you are using for me proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. What Jahannam? You Muslim believe that hell is Jahannam? But Jahannam is a valley in Jerusalem. How the valley where people they throw garbage became a, became hell for Muslims? I will tell you how. 
He stole that from the gospel. He stole that from the gospel. Otherwise, I, you know, the Muslim, they say to us that the Quran is Arabic. The first language Allah, he spoke to Adam was Arabic. So how are you using the word Jahannam? The value of Hanum. <laughs> but I'm so happy to introduce to you the bewitched prophet. The bewitched prophet, he earned his bewitching after very hard work. He went to school. He suffered a lot. And because he was bewitched, it says here with us. Oh, we have many Muslims calling. Hello? Go to Matthew 13, 31. Yes, go. What a kid. Hello? Yes, hello. Why you are you changing your voice? I'm not changing my voice. It's I'm my voice. Really? Okay, I don't know. It sounds like you are changing your voice. Go ahead. No, no, I'm I'm a Christian. All right, go ahead. I wanted to ask you why do you defend Catholicism. Why I defend Catholicism? And you are a Christian? Yes. Okay, let me ask you. Yes. What do you think about Muhammad? No, I asked you a question. First. I know, I know. You asked me. I'm asking you too. I will answer you. Why? What do you think about Muhammad? Is Muhammad a prophet or false prophet? False prophet. False prophet. So you you believe that Muhammad is a scumbag, or you believe he is a good man? Uh, he was an evil man. He was what? Evil man. He was an evil man. Okay, I will answer you about the Catholic. No problem. This is not our topic, but no problem. We can answer. You know, when somebody says that the Catholic, they pray for me, I'm not a Catholic. The Catholic, they ask Mary to pray for them. So this is number one lie. When they say that the Catholic, they ask the dead to pray for them, that's num number two lie. Because the Bible confirmed that there is many saints, they were resurrected. So when the Catholic, they say, or uh, Mary, pray for us, they are quoting from the Bible what the angels, they say to Mary when they arrive to her. Oh, hail Mary. This is not this is a biblical prayer. This is not Catholic. Prayer. Don't call me now. Don't call me. Let me answer, please. I will call you back. The Muslim guy who's trying to call. So I don't like lies. I don't believe the Catholic are doing the right thing in many ways, as an example, pictures or statues. But I don't like people to lie about them. So I defend the truth. I don't take a side. The Catholic are Christians. For very simple reason, whoever believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Messiah, the crucifixion, the resurrection, whoever believe that there is no salvation but by the Messiah, whoever believe that He is coming back and He is the only Savior for us, whoever believe that the Messiah, He sent His disciples to teach us, to preach to us, He believe in Mark and Luke. He believe in John. He believe in the four Gospels. He is my brother in Christ. When somebody claim that certain group are not Christians, you have to give us a proof. Whoever deny me, I deny him. The Catholic, they don't. Who is the Antichrist? Is the one who deny the Father and the Son. The Catholic, they don't. So don't lie about them. The, the rosary, they are not praying to Mary, my friend. Be honest. The rosary, they're asking, they say, Oh, hail Mary, pray for us. Don't be a liar. Don't be a liar. Pray for us. Pray for us. Don't be a liar. I say to you, pray for me. Does that mean you are worshiping me or pray for me to God? Don't be silly and don't be stupid. Just try to be honest. And the Muslims, they love, they love to divide your Christians. Let us see, we have a Muslim. Hello? Where by Allah you will be killed. If, 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 if. By Allah? <laughs> you made me fart, my friend. Uh, uh, to be killed is the last one to make me worry, my friend. The, my worry is to stay alive and I am a donkey. 
who care about being dead if I die I will be with my Lord anyway let me show you what some Christians they do when they are dividing each other and that is involved some priest who they are working for Allah look what Allah he says about people who they are like you who divide the Christians Allah spoke about you the devil himself he have a plan for you you are working for him when you do that read carefully this is Allah plan for the Christians and whoever work in that planned direction he is working for the devil from those who call themselves a Christians we did take a covenant and they forgot a good part of it don't call me again I have no time for kids there's one thing here Christian friends don't allow is the vision the vision is from the devil is not from Jesus the Bible says there's no Greek there's no Hebrew there's no free there's no slave for all is one by Jesus so as the Christians we are one church I don't believe in churches I believe in one church which is us it's not something called Catholic It's not something called Protestant It's not something called Orthodox whoever believe in me and I will live don't make the devil Allah divide you look at his plan so but we forgot they, they forgot a good part of the message that we sent to them so we string them with enmity and hatred between one to each other one he said I don't hate the Catholic no you do you do when you say the Catholic are not Christians because this is based on hate not based on facts who are you to decide who is a Christian who is not if the person he believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit if somebody believe he pray to Mary that will not make him pray ask him Mary to pray for him oh Mary pray for us that will not make him a Christian that's me all of us not Christians Pray for me, pray for me. And I can show you tons of verses in the Bible. There's many Christians, they are copy-paste, like the Muslims. Foolishness is a disease. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Not the one who say Catholic, not the one who say Protestant, not the one who say Orthodox, but the one who do his will. God is not a fool. Some of those who claim to be Christians, they act like the Shia and the Sunni. You will go to hell, we will go to heaven. Whoever of you say that is a stupid. Because heaven and hell is not in your hand. It's in the hand of God. From their fruits, you shall know them not from their names so I don't stand to defend the Catholic I stand to defend the truth I will not allow the Catholic to say the same about the Protestant because that will be stupid of him to say so and there's many they do the same they so the same so stupidity is existing in both parties Christianity have nothing to do with this we follow Jesus we don't follow a priest the priest is dividing you Jesus he unite us and I am a follower of Jesus I am the Alpha I am the Omega the rest are dead Jesus said that the dead bury the dead there was a funeral right and people they are going in a funeral let the dead bury the dead you are following the dead you forgot about who is Jesus you are busy about who is going to go to heaven who is going to go to hell but you yourself are not saved I say to you before Abraham I am there's many they are busy with Abraham Abraham said Sarah she said Elijah he said Moses he said oh hold on before Abraham I am what about Jesus said 
all those names came just to make us know Jesus which mean they are just people who try their best to help us to reach out this is the same guy I think yes hello yes, uh, yes. can you hear me I do uh, I, I got a question you said that uh, you don't agree with the Catholics uh, having pictures and mm. of Mary and mm. um, you think this is wrong why do you think that because the Bible says don't make any images for what up in heaven and what down in earth especially what's come to religious meaning and as but, long if you are, in, as, but if you have a picture of your son on your desk or something my or friend, something, my friend it is it is not like okay. it's, it's not like you're worshiping this picture no it's problem, like no problem but, still, but it still does not mean no you see first of all you don't even have the picture of the person you are making an imaginary picture correct yeah but it's the same okay, so what's the point I mean why you need a picture you know why I need a picture of anyone I mean I do not need I accept that I have no problem if it's an art I have no problem if you have a picture of Mary or Jesus if it's just for art it's okay no problem but it, to pray in front of it that is wrong because this is first of all this is not Jesus and this is not Mary same time no, but we do not, is, same but time we do not need it this is that biblical is that something coming from the coming from the Bible no no but it's it's without praying towards it it's like having my friend my friend a, doesn't matter it's like why you want to have it as friend. a reminder that Jesus is everywhere and no, Jesus you do not is, need it. In, Jesus say the bless those who believe and did not see bless those who believe and did not see so we are the one who we believe we did not see we did not see Jesus yet we believe so we got the blessing yeah, know, we, we got the blessing so we do not need a picture picture will not make us believers pictures is something you know tradition made by some people and now you follow blindly but it's not right have nothing to do with the teaching of Christ where Jesus no, said make a big did Jesus say is me the picture of me no but okay, so it's you not it? following, but yeah. it's not following blindly if it helps you and if, if it helps you in what it helped me in what he would go I don't I don't believe in pictures and I I, I mean uh, 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 I mean how I can be more close to Jesus than doing what I am doing bringing people to him every day but I don't have pictures of him I don't want to see pictures of him because that's not important Jesus can be black can be white can be Asian he came to us as a man but this is not who he is God is not a man God came to us as a man it's not God it's not a man who became a God it's God who became man so you are focusing an image of a man but you forgot God so let us focus in God that his name is Jesus the Christ not in the picture we do not need pictures my friend this is have nothing to do I, not, I, I not, none of the disciples say, my friend my friend none of the disciples they made pictures Paul did not do Peter did not do Simon you know uh, all all uh, they did not do pictures so why you want to do pictures I mean I, I, like what I'm trying to okay, say my is friend, my, no, it's, not, it's not I don't want to change my topic but this is your opinion I for me I advise you I love you as a person I love you in Christ and I believe you are a good person and you are my brother in Christ but I believe this is wrong all right we do not need pictures to know Jesus for a very simple reason first of all it's not his picture I have no problem if we have all the pictures of all those names great names will be wonderful actually no problem at least it's it's real by the way the Muslim they say that the one who have a statues are pagans but you know what the Quran says that Allah he order one of his prophets to have a statues and he designate the genies to build for him status status you believe it in chapter 21 verse number 52 supposedly Ibrahim is fighting his father about the status but the same God in chapter 34 verse number 13 it says that Allah he gave opportunity to his prophet Suleiman to build statues anyone he don't use a, you know like I, I can tell fake accounts trying to disturb what we do so Allah, he gave Suleiman genies. You see here, they did not mention the word status, but the fact it is his status. Let me change the translation. You will see how the translation change. Muslims, they have no dignity when they translate. Do you see it? We just change the translator. 
they made for him what he willed synagogues and statues hello anyone will take me out of topic by the way I will block you our our program here is about Islam and Islam only the Satan always is very successful to divide you and I will not allow people to do division for his people it doesn't matter who you are I will take you I will kick you and I will let the crowd step on your lies Catholic Protestant Orthodox they believe in one God that is the Messiah and he is the one who unite us and the one who divide us at the devil so if you are a follower of the devil of the vision get lost with your devil you are not welcome as simple as that are we clear I am a Christian Prince I'm a warrior of the Lord Jesus the Christ not a warrior of a church name for we are his church we the people who believe in him hello my friend you worship three gods the three God we are being stupid my friend let me call you back hold on I don't know what happened I like the idea. Answer, answer. Coward, he will not answer. Big fat lie, the Muslim they say that we believe in three gods because even your Quran, your stupid, says that we believe that in one God. So who of you is the donkey? Your God or you? If your Quran says the Christian believe that Jesus the Christ is God himself, not second God, Potatoes. And do you see why Muslims leave Islam left and right when they call me? Because you speak foolishness, stupidity. And I get you busted left and right. You Muslims are copy paste nation. Chapter 5, verse number 72. Your God is getting you busted. They surely disbelieve who say that Allah is the Messiah, not the second God. This is your cult, and this is the yellow pages of Allah. Are you going to blame me for the yellow pages of Allah? If you're Allah witness that the Christian believe that God and the Messiah is one, why you lie and you say we believe in three? Who is a Muslim? He have an intelligence in his mind to share with us. Guys, did we have a good time today? Did we have a good time? We did, right? We have a very smart person who is a Muslim. Actually, you know what? When you speak to a smart person, you might think that this is the hardest to make him leave Islam. It's the opposite. If you go and play back, when this gentleman, he called me, you will notice that this man, this man is educated, he's smart, right? But because he's smart, and he was honest with himself. He decided to leave the cult of Islam. Debating with the smart one is the easiest. Speaking to the foolish one is useless. It's a waste of time. Like you show that guy, he's a prophet saying, whoever comes first, the baby will be a boy. He says, prove that wrong. <laughs> prove that wrong. I mean, madness, stupidity. As they say in China, he left as a he left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. I cannot make you a horse. I cannot make you a horse.
my friend don't text me don't text me in Skype I have no time for this I don't allow division yes this is division Christians who they are divided over uh, silly stuff in certain time even they have a war because of those things the devil was successful to divide you follow God remember God God is not images God is not pictures God is not a stone be Christian there's many they focus in the most silly stuff buying pictures and etc but they don't want to bring anyone to Christ when, okay when the last time you brought someone to Christ they are willing to fight each other even to go to war which is totally against the teaching of Jesus absolutely when the Lord he said to you love your enemy you were busy fighting each other to the point you shed blood how disgusting how disgusting and how shameful hello hello uh, good evening CP yes my friend um, um I'm a Christian I just want you to I don't know when you're gonna have a time to do a broadcast what Allah has to offer and what Jesus has to offer to us Okay. Uh, I don't know whether next time maybe you can do a comparison what Allah has to offer mm. and what Jesus has to offer because uh, when we look at it, Jesus promised us many things that he has to offer that made him to be equal to, to be God, to be God himself. Mm. Like he said, that if anyone if anyone die, he will raise him up to himself. Mm. So I don't know what, what maybe one day you should do a show like uh, what Allah has to offer. And what uh, uh, Jesus has to offer to see, and also uh, the the second question that the the importance of the Adiv and the and the Quran because now we are talking to the Muslim sometimes they say oh the Adiv is not good no no so the importance of it the Adiv and the Quran I don't know what you think about this. All right, my friend, I will try my best to answer you. Anything else? Thank you. Oh yes, yeah, that's it. Thank uh, you. Thank you very much. All right. Well, you know, I always try to make things simple because there's people who listen to us and they are not highly educated in the topic we speak of. So the best way always, you know, the best example for me, if I want to teach somebody, is to do what Jesus said. You see, Jesus always, he spoke to people by using parables because simply, you know, we human, we are limited and we understand images better. And you will notice that both in Christianity and both in Islam, there is images. The difference is that Jesus, he used images to explain himself for us on earth. But he don't use images to explain heaven in heaven. The reason for that that the happiness of heaven is beyond the imagination but it has nothing to do with objects but the heaven of Islam is all about objects so images is a must when they asked Jesus about a woman who her husband died and then she married the second one and her husband died and he married the second the third one she will be for who that is the understanding of the Jews Jesus said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. Same as angels mean we will be free from objects. An object mean our needs. We will have needs. What is the needs? Food, money, you know, even glory. We, you know, we glorify ourselves. We are proud about ourselves. We need to have more and more of everything. We, we are slaves of object. Sex, money, jewelries, power, you name it. In the heaven of Jesus, you will be free. 
only free in the heaven of Islam you will be slave and only slave then we will find Muhammad speaking about that his heaven is like a, a warehouse of furniture all those verses is speaking about this heaven of furniture imagine the god of islam he even promised you that in his heaven you are going to have couches and chairs How stupid that is I'm talking about God not about furniture store reclining upon their clothes they will have every kind of a fruit in pairs I'm so happy it's in pairs not a single I mean you will have from every fruit two pairs what does that mean you will have of two fountain flowing two fountains I mean one is not enough Two fountain are you happy you will be in a garden and you will be having boys and those boys will be going around you you will be in a couch and you will be reclining in the couch I mean how amazing suddenly I have a couch I am an Arab savage Arab a Bedouin who never have a couch so finally I got a couch How that can be from God? God uh, <laughs> promised me a couch. This is this is a salvation. The salvation of God is involving couches and bracelet and silk clothing. What is that about? How this is can be from God. And then here in verse number 56, by the way, this is a false translation. It says that women, they will be there who nobody play inside their vagina. You see the Muslim here, they translate, but it's a false translation. Allah describe what is inside the vagina this is salvation God he need to describe for me that the vagina of this woman nobody I don't want to be rude you know you know what I'm talking about Chapter 55, verse number 56. If we go here to the Tafsir. Show me where Trinity, Trinity is mentioned in the Bible just once. Okay, are you willing to stay or you will hang up? Yes, I'm willing to stay. Okay, if I show you the Trinity, are you willing to say Islam is false or just to challenge me for no reason? I'm willing to say Islam is false. All right, open Genesis chapter number one, verse number one. Where does it say that? Hey, open it, read it for me. You said, show me, right? Okay, I'm show you. It's from the first line in the Bible. I don't see it. Read it for me. Go ahead. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Read it for me. In, Genesis in chapter the beginning. 
Yeah. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. The darkness was on the face of the deep, and the spirit of God was hovering over the face okay, of the let, waters. Let's say God and the spirit. Does it say God and the spirit? Does it say that in that verse? There's a God and there's a spirit. Where does it say that they are one? Here we go. God is spirit. Is God is spirit? You're asking me to show you the Trinity, right? You asked me to show you the Trinity, correct? Yes. Okay. Does it say there that there's God and there is a spirit, and this is the spirit of God? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So now what we have left? What is the Trinity in Christianity? Do you know? What is the Trinity in Christianity? Do you know? What happened to this guy? <laughs> okay. Obviously, you are asking question for the wrong person. If you go to in the Old Testament in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter six, verse number one, it says, "Your God is one." Here, O Israel, Yahweh is our God. Yahweh is Echad. One here is one, not by number, one by unity. So, God the Spirit, God the Father, and God the Man is three mentioned in the Old Testament. God, He came to Abraham as a man God he came to Abraham as a man actually Muhammad himself by the way he copied that story and he put it in his Quran why you hang up very embarrassing Very, very embarrassing. They are copy paste. They keep repeating where, where, where the Trinity, where, where you brought the Trinity from, where you got the Trinity from. Actually, the Trinity is confirmed in the Quran, but sadly, you know, he hang up. Are we having a good time, guys? So we going back to the heaven of of Allah. You will find that the heaven of Allah is one of the most weirdest, funny, stupid heaven. Couches, green silk, jewelries. The floor, the floor, the floor in the heaven is made from musk and zafaran. Zafaran? Zafaran is food. What I will do with that dirt, the dirt zafaran, I will lick it. And all of this, we have it here. I mean, what? And look, guys, you will see here, you will notice something here in this in, in this Quran. Look how many times this, this empty God, he kept repeating, which in the favor of your Lord that you will deny, which in the favor of your Lord will deny, which in the favor of your Lord will deny. Which in the favor of your Lord will deny? Which in the favor of your Lord will deny? Which in the favor of your Lord will deny? Come, come back tomorrow. Which in the favor of your Lord will deny? Which in the favor of your Lord will deny? What is that? What is that? This is God? Is that God or this is the, what is, what's his name? This is the rap guy? Snoopy Dog? This is Snoopy Dog. This is not God. This is a snobby dog. Make a Quran. Why are you repeating the same thing all over? I mean, it's, we're going to spend the whole day reading this. It's all over. How many times I need to say the same, the same thing, Mr. Yeah. Snobby Dog Allah? Huh? How many times? Look, 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 look. 
Unbelievable. You deny, you deny, you deny, you deny. What is that? Actually, you did beat Snobby Dog. Snobby Dog, he did not repeat it that much. This is God? If this is God, then who is who is stupid? God, he don't repeat his words saying stupid things over and over. Just say one time, which the favor of your God we deny. That's it, it's over. We got it. But the one who made this, he have nothing to say. He's trying to fill it up. And not only that, do you know that in the heaven of Islam, Allah promised the Muslims to heaven? You tell me what to heaven. Any Muslim can tell us how I will get to heaven, how I'm going to live in two heavens. Two heavens? <laughs> hey, my husband, where are you? I am in heaven number two. Fantastic. Heaven number two. Actually, Muhammad, he says that there is two heaven. One of them is made from gold and one of them is made from silver. Which is very disgusting. Imagine you live in a place made from gold. Actually, in hadith, it says that there is a heaven made from, from papers. Read with me here carefully. Sahih Muslim. This is the heaven of Allah. This is the heaven of Allah. In the heaven, they will be drinking honey. Very sweet honey. And there is two extremists. Their souls in paradise. The one is from gold and the other from silver. I'm really, really convinced that this is from God. And by the way, you know, guys, there, there, is, there is a guy, he said to me, uh, <clears throat> where is the heaven of Eden? Right? He said, where is the heaven of Eden? And if we go like you can go to Genesis, read uh, uh, Genesis 2, chapter uh, uh, chapter 2, and read it from like verse 9, 10, uh, 13, 14. Speaking there, about the river is called Euphrates. This is supposedly where the Garden of Eden was. Look what Muhammad said. Muhammad as a copier. Let us see. Here we go. There's four rivers. There's so there's four rivers in the paradise of Allah. The Muslim they say to us that the paradise of Allah is not in this earth because the whole earth would be destroyed. The whole earth will be destroyed. So how Muhammad he says that he was raised to loot a tree. This is the tree of Allah. And I saw four river two of which were coming out and two is going in. Those which were coming out were the Nile and the Euphrates. The Nile and the Refugees are up in the 7-11 heaven in the space. The heaven, the, the Garden of Eve and Adam in the, in the Christianity, it was on earth. The Garden of Adam and Eve in Islam, it was in heaven. Never was on earth.
That's why the Quran says to them, sit, you know, go down, go down, because they were up. Here, Muhammad is claiming that the Nile River and the Euphrates are the heavens in the, in, in the heaven of Allah. That is how stupid this cult is. If you like to learn more about Islam, feel free. You can get my books. They are full of reference. A library of reference, actually. My books is not like a story. It's points, one, two, three, and reference. As simple as that. Very handy, very easy to understand. I hope today we cover a lot of issues and we are happy as always to have some Muslims leaving Islam and accepting Christ. I want to say guys, thank you for being here. I'm thinking tomorrow maybe I will not do broadcast, but not sure. But you see, the problem is every day I say I will not do. This is what I did today. I said I will not do broadcast, but in my heart I felt that there is somebody who wanted me to go and I was right. There was a Muslim waiting for me to go and he accepted the Messiah as Lord. So if I did not come online today, we will not be able to save him. So I'm so glad that I did take the decision to come online. I will try tomorrow, but I'm not sure because I have a book I need to finish to be published before the Christmas. And doing live broadcasts for many, many hours making me really, I don't want to look at the computers after I finish. So we will see. Subscribe. You will be notified. And don't forget, by the way, we have we have other uh, uh, like uh, links, uh, like minds that come. Nobody is subscribing there because we need always a backup. The enemy will not stop, and he will do his best to stop us from exposing Islam. So please don't forget, you can subscribe to my account in minds that come, as you see in the screen. Minds that come, slash Christian Prince. This is a backup account. We have Facebook, we have a Twitter, but this is this is you know let's say let us make it a main one. So in the future, if my YouTube my account terminated for some reason, you never know. You always you will be able to find me, and you will know where you can locate me. All right. So put that in your consideration. And I have my account in uh, uh, in Instagram. Just search for Arabian Prophet, and we have a Twitter. All right, I mean subscribe to all you will lose nothing So always you will have a backup But mines minds.com is maybe the best one because it's more stable All right, so I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again remember one thing That God is good and the good God will never ever leave us alone we are not left alone and we are victorious not because of a Christian prince. It's not because a Christian prince, nobody can defeat him. It's because nobody can defeat Jesus. It's because we are following the good God, for he is the only true God exists. Anything else is a lie. And remember to be united with him. Unite with your brother in Christ. Let us be one by him. There's nothing will divide us. Don't believe that there is somebody can divide you. Otherwise, you are not you are not belonging to him. Don't let a priest divide you. Don't let a priest or a bishop or anyone to make you not a believer and to hate your brother in Christ. Christ is our Lord, not a priest. The man who divide, he don't serve the Lord. Ask yourself before you go. Do you think the Lord will be happy to see Christians divided? The answer is very simple. No. This is not for the Lord. And this is not what he wants. Be one as our Lord is one. Be good as your, your Lord is good. Be faithful to your family, to your wife. Be good to your parents. Be good even to the Muslims. For our God is good, God of love and mercy. Thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Thank you.